Welcome to the John McGinnis Student Ice Arena and Flow Hockey, where we take another step along the road to the Mason Cup. Tonight, the Michigan Tech Huskies, who are the third seed, will take on the Minnesota State Mavericks, who are the fourth seed, with a spot in the final game at stake. We'll take a look back at last weekend and see how both teams made their way through their quarterfinal series. We'll also talk to both head coaches and we'll celebrate the Mavericks and the Huskies, who earned all CCHA honors. All that and more coming up right after this. When you need that boost, they're there. They're standing for the entire hockey game. You don't have to be a historic hockey fan to love Michigan Tech hockey. It's a win every night for the people in attendance. Everybody who comes through our program is a member of the Michigan Tech Hockey family. This community understands what hard work's about. To be part of something bigger than yourself, the students and Pepin, they mean more than you could possibly imagine. Welcome back to the John McGinnis Student Ice Arena. Both the Mavericks and the Huskies took similar paths to make it to this semifinal game. The Huskies defeating Bowling Green in two games. The Mavericks defeating the Wildcats of Northern Michigan in two games. Both teams had a five-goal blowout and a one-goal nail-biter. Let's take a look at the quarterfinal matchups. And tries the wraparound. It's still loose on front. First attempt by Haskins. He fans on. Second one is blocked. Oh! <laughs> Of Nyberg. There's Souter. Souter deep into the slot. Oh, oh. it's gone! Tremendous patience there by Lucas. Looked like he was going to give it off to Isley. Kind of got the defender leaning a little bit and snapped it up in the top shelf to give the Mavericks a two goal lead. Off near side for Perbix. Perbix trying to sweep it to the far side. Somehow he made the first save. But it came near side, and now the Wildcats back into the game. And that whole play started back in the Maverick offensive zone. They're fine with the puck staying sticks there. Down, sticks down. And it's played out of the zone. This will be a race for the puck. It's going to end the game. Carabas gets back, takes his time, played to the side of the net. But the Wildcats are going to run out of time tonight, trying to play it back to the point. It got past him, and the Mavericks will hold on and win game one. By a score of two to one. Cats end up winning that battle. Here's a chance for Gantu shorthanded score. Ends. Carabas brings it from out behind the net. Score! <laughs> the crease, but Morton not there. Murray able to keep it into the zone. Here comes Morton between the circles. Halas has it. The follow up by Morton. Score! Zinger with Morton back. Morton looking for a turnover. Score! Nine left off for 
Travis. Travis with the shot. Score! Traffic out in front of Halas, and obviously the intensity for the Wildcats. Coming down now, two on two with Isaac Gordon. Logan in front is oh. scores! Across the line. Here's the chance for Gordon. Scores! Oh. Isaac Gordon from Logan Piano. A beautiful play. Nordstrom knocked down right to the front of the goal for the Huskies. Here's the shot. Scores! There we go. Bardo, his first career goal. Face off controlled by Michigan Tech. They get it back up top. A shot. Oh. Ryland Mosley with a spin around move at the top. And he beat Moore, who never saw it. Falcons on a line change. Sauce pass up the middle. Pasca Pirti scores! <laughs> Arvin Pinneroff with the goal. Pasca Pirti stick paddle a couple of times. Able to push it forward. Scardino with a lead pass. Right in. Shot scores right through Blake. And here we go. Bowling Green with a 2 0 lead on Michigan Tech. This up with a half of. Minute left, here's a pass, a score! Oh, what a play! Isaac Gordon on the one-timer ties it up! The good. Yeah, that was off the pipe and in, I think. That was just a great shot. And a great pass by Logan. And here, here's a Mosley now with a chance. He scores! And a penalty coming up. Mosley has given the Huskies a 3-2 lead. 3-3 three, three score. Here's a one-timer. Partially found on. And he scores again. It went off the backboards. A bad break for the Huskies to the other side. And the Falcons with two straight have regained the lead. Here's Logan Piedela. Shoots. Rebound. Scores. Right in front. The Huskies with Tyrone Brown. Campbell's going to step up on the play. Another shot for the Huskies. Scores! 5 4 Michigan Tech. Russell. Oh, oh, turned over. Full. He's in on a breakaway. Coming in on Blake. Scores! Turned over by the Huskies at the offensive blue line, and Full ties it up. 5 5. Two minutes into the third period. Williams back up top for Chase. Chase hangs on. Shot by Moses. Scores! Riley Mosley. Power play goal. Boy, that's a nice ball. This is where your story starts. It's where you are encouraged to bring your big ideas, where you find opportunities for real world thinking, where you are inspired to take action. This is where what you imagine turns into what you do, where you make your dreams reality. This is Minnesota State University, Mankato, and that is why we have been voted Minnesota's best university three years in a row. I feel the power, it's all in my tides. I have no fear of what's next. Now is your time. The world is mine. Ooh, I'm a hero. Out of the shadows, lead to the light. During the week, head coaches Luke Strand and Joe Sean shared their thoughts on this week's matchup. Uh, the margin of, of error, I think, between the two clubs is very close and tight. Uh, you, you can't afford to to mess up on many opportunities, and then you have to capitalize on your on your opportunities as well. It, it feels good to be leaving Houghton with the last time we played up there with a with a win. Um, you know, you look over the series; they've been one goal games. Uh, they've been close. I, I would expect nothing less. Um, Probably for both clubs, maybe as healthy as both teams have been a little bit. So I, I bet you know we'll both see each other's best cards. I'm, I'm assuming. Better be on your game because that 60 minutes is going to happen quick, and um, both teams are fighting for the same prize in a small little window. Group that plays hard. I mean, they they've got forwards there with balance. Uh, Their defending group. They they play hard in front of their goaltender, who's been excellent. Um, They've had good balance with their special teams the whole time too. So I think just as a as a whole, they they've got a good a good foundation for a team. And along the way, I, as we've been head to head and they've been narrow games, uh, you got to be opportunistic uh, when the when the opportunity is there. At the same time, got to be pretty stingy to try to deny those opportunities as well. This year, 
you know, we have to, both teams, have, every team that's playing, all four teams that have, have gotten to this point um, have to win. So, uh, you know, you just, you, you feel, you hope your team's prepared to play, that you've done a good job throughout the year, and you're ready to, to be at your best when your best is needed. And, and the team that is in that regard um, will be the team that comes out on top. I've said it before, I've, I've been with a lot of teams in my 30 years, and um, n none more than this group. I don't have a, a I've been, not been around another team where I thought there was as much complete uh, oneness as there is with this group, with, with guys that haven't um, complained or come to the rink uh, when they haven't felt like uh, they've gotten their fair due. They, they, they come to work every day. And with that, now when we need them most, they're ready to perform. And you can't say enough about that. I have no reason to expect that it won't be a great game um, Saturday night. Things happen in a hockey game of this. We saw it last week. And when, when elimination's on the line, games get crazy. And the group that can keep the, uh, you know, the, the, order to that chaos will be the team that has probably the best chance to advance and, and play for a championship next weekend. And we also sat down with Isaac Gordon and Logan Piedela as well. Yeah, you know, Noah Mankato in the past couple of years, they've been, you know, pretty dominant, but we've always played them to, you know, one, two goal games, whether that's overtime or just coming down to the wire. And yeah, and especially this year too, I mean, they've got a great team. You know, we were fortunate enough to get the sweep down of their uh, their place but you know they came here and we had a split and you know they're they're a great team and every time we play them it's always you know coming down to maybe one or two mistakes or capitalizing on your chances so I mean, we know it's gonna be a good game on Saturday. I feel like they're also a very fast team it's been interesting there's a couple guys I played with last year on the team so it's been it's been good and yeah I feel like they they fight every night so we can't can't take our foot off the gas. Just playing our game you know being offensive and uh and then really focusing on the details, and, you know, and whether that's special teams, this and being ready for anything. I mean, you know, these elimination elimination games, they, uh, I mean, they, random things can happen. So kind of like uh, against Bowling Green, you know, going down two nothing, got to stay with it. You know, whether that may be. So just kind of being ready for anything. The, the atmosphere is crazy. I mean, home opener weekend, I I couldn't believe how loud it was. For real. so yeah, every weekend the fans bring it, and it's been electric. Up next, we recognize the players that earned all CCHA honors. My brothers and I were raised on Husky hockey, so the chance to play together on this team means a lot. They tell you the classes at Tech will be hard, and that is no joke. There are always distractions, hard classes, tough games, but when I step in the crease, all that disappears. I always knew I wanted to play for Michigan Tech. The team, the fans, all of Husky Hockey is a legacy I'm proud to play for. The Mavericks and the Huskies were both well represented in postseason conference awards. Named to the all CCHA first team, senior forward Sam Morton from Minnesota State. Named to the All-CCHA second team, senior goaltender Blake Pietela from Michigan Tech, freshman forward Isaac Gordon from Michigan Tech, and freshman defenseman Evan Murr from Minnesota State. Named to the CCHA All-Rookie team, Gordon and Murr. And the freshman of the year went to Michigan Tech's Isaac Gordon. The semifinal matchups weren't determined until the last moment, actually the last 6.6 .6 seconds. 24 to go, here's Poolman in a 2-2 game, bottom of the circle, revolves behind the cage, Mason Poolman right point, at the line, it was blocked, 2 on 1, look out, Lewandowski with Rolison. Lewandowski, got it back right circle, save made, Trent scored, with 6 seconds to go, Lake State with the heartbreaker. That'll do it for our semifinal preview. Let's head to the arena for player introductions and the drop of the puck. We're back underway. Mavericks with a power play come right in. And they score! Oh, right out of the 
the game. Go to the right side. Shot taken to the Mavericks to the power play. And there you go with Sauer. Now spinning around is Kranich. Back in. He scores. He scores. The greatest. Mavericks with another championship miracle play. Cup semifinal featuring the visiting Minnesota State Mavericks and your Michigan Tech Huskies. <laughs> now let's meet tonight's starting lineup. First for coach Luke Strand and the Mavericks in goal, wearing number 33, Alex Tracy. <laughs> On left defense, number 13, Jordan Power. On right defense, number 22, Steve Bellini. At center, wearing number six, Sam Morton. On left wing and wearing number 21, Lucas Souter. And on right wing and wearing number 12, Josh Grohl. And the rest of the Mavericks. And now, fans, it's time to get on your feet, out of your seat, as we meet and greet the starting lineup for your Michigan Tech Husky. Tonight's starting lineup, sponsored by the Elements Apartments. In goal, wearing number 31, from Howell, Michigan, Blake Piedela. On left defense and wearing number 19 from Edina, Minnesota, Nick Williams. On right defense, number 17 from Howell, Michigan, Chase Pianola. At center, wearing number 13 from Howell, Michigan, he is the captain, Logan. Piedela! <laughs> On left wing and wearing number 11 from Armbrier, Ontario, Ryland Mosley! <laughs> and skating on right wing and wearing number 16 from Landmark, Manitoba, Isaac Gordon! The Huskies are coached by Mr. Joe Sean, Jordy Murray, Alec Bretzman, and Tyler Shalas. Fans, please rise and remove your hats for the playing of the Star Spangled Banner, performed tonight by the Michigan Tech Pet Band.
the student ice arena, Dirk Hemrov along with Bill Pietola, the Huskies, the Mavericks. It's a semifinal in the Mason Cup tournament of the CCHA conference, and we are happy that you are with us here tonight, and we are excited. Everybody walking in tonight, what, talking to the Husky fans, a few Maverick fans that are here too, just smiles on their faces. Everybody's happy to be at a hockey rink here tonight, and I think these two teams are ready to go. Yeah, you, you can say that again, Dirk. This is just college hockey at its best right here. To have a sold out place, sold out arena tonight, back to the rafters, a uh, ton of energy in this building. It's gonna be a lot of fun. As we mentioned, uh, Sam Morton, the player of the year in the CCHA, he'll lead his team out there with that opening face off going against Logan Kettle, no slouch himself. Logan with uh, 11 goals, 27 points, but Sam Morton, what a, what a tremendous season he has put together with those 24 goals. 10 assists, he's lethal on the power play, and boy, you wonder, Phil, how much special teams is going to come into effect here between these two teams. Yeah, I think that's true, Dirk. His special teams will be big tonight, and I think, you know, a highly emotional game like this, you gotta keep it, you know, under wraps and make sure you stay out of the box, especially against this dangerous Minnesota State team. Later tonight, Lake Superior State University visiting the Beavers of Bemidji State. That game will be an 807 Eastern start, and we are ready to go. Huskies are down to our left, skating left to right. The Mavericks to our right, skating right to left. Lake Pietola to our left, Alex Tracy to our right, and we are underway in our opening face-off. Brought to you by Fine Line Tire and Hancock, Fine Line Tire Express and Houghton, where we serve you the guest. Draw one by the uh, Mavericks, they'll clear it all the way down. This won't be icing, good hustle down there by Lucas Sauter. Sauter with a nice pass, quick attempt to or towards the net there by Sam Morton, did not get through. And a battle for the puck now inside of the Michigan Tech zone. Mosley swings it to the middle and bringing it up now will be Logan Piedela. Gets the red line, gets the follow through and dumped all the way down inside of the Maverick zone. Loose puck is there. Huskies pick it up with the Mosley. He'll put it through a pair of legs. He brings it up top. Mosley slides it back down to the corner for Campbell, the defenseman. Campbell battling along the wall, swings it down to the corner, trying to get it to Gordon. And now it's going to go back. Nice job by Grohl. The Will let one out of the zone, but the Huskies take over again at their own blue line. One of the defensemen making a line change made it a little bit scary there. Oh, watch out. Campbell lost it. And now he goes down on the play, and it's thrown away now by the by Carabas. He'll take it across the line, and the Huskies quickly get it back out to center ice. No score, just underway here in the first period. Turnover by Michigan Tech. More of it coming across. Huskies stop that one. Michigan Tech will pick it up now, and Campbell will bring it up on the rush. Campbell getting it across the blue line now. He's onside, and will uh, look to hold on to it, and will pass it behind the net, picked up by the Huskies there. Back to the point. Koska to make that shot. Yeah, Koska Pirtu wide of the net. Campbell picking it up again. He'll shoot. This one goes high into the air. Nobody knows where it is. Uh, Morovic able to get it to the line and just outside of the zone for a clear. Yeah, the Huskies got to look, watch out for to not get stuck on the ice too long. Some of these shifts are a little bit long here, Dirk, so far. 18-26 left to go in the first period. No score. Right up now by Michigan Tech. Jack works. Bringing it across for the Huskies. Could not get through the last line of defense. Stolen away. Isley now will send it up, and this won't be icing. Good job by Bolson to get down there and get the piece of the puck. Huskies stole it away. That's Pedersen, but Pedersen is locked up there behind his net. Able to get it to Jed Pietoli. He'll go off the boards and works now with a nice play up the center right. Pedersen moving it forward. Tripped up on the play and back. Pedersen now will go in after it. He'll swing it towards the goal, and Katarov didn't see it coming through. That shot there, and a nice save made by Tracy, and the rebound is... Picked up in uh, Wilson up to center ice. Now we'll get it down inside of the Michigan Tech zone. First shot on goal goes to the Huskies. No score. 17-47 remaining. Right up, up now. Michigan Tech across the line. We'll dump it all the way in. Alex Tracy sending it over now for his defense. Bellini. Nice breakout here by the Mavericks. Power up to center ice. Gets the red line. Dumps it down to the right wing corner inside the Michigan Tech zone. Williams will pitch it back. That hit the referee. And actually turned out to help the Huskies. Michigan Tech still struggling to get it out. Nordstrom not able to do it. And it goes back inside of the Michigan Tech corner. This is Williams now with it. He's got a guy right on him. Williams able to muscle it up to uh, center ice. Moves it to the middle. And the Huskies uh, tipping all the way down and going down the forecheck now. Lucas Sauter is trying to call plays right to the front. Bartle! And Bartle couldn't swing it around Tracy. He held on to it as long as he could and could not swing it around the goaltender. Tracy who made a nice play just to get in the way. Back inside of the Michigan Tech zone, Lucas Sauter in on a four check. He'll take a hit, and the Huskies will get the clear. Sending it right back in now is Evan Murr. What a season he's had in his freshman campaign. Huskies back inside of their own zone now, struggling a little bit. Now get it to Russell. A little bit of time and space up for Gordon. Isaac Gordon 
Pushes it forward, can't make the play though, and it's intercepted by Cook. Cook will send it behind his own net now for Murr, and Murr will move it up. No score. Huskies with a near steal at the offensive blue line. Mosley will get it back. They're onside. Tip pass up for Logan. Logan with a backhand. Got a weak one on as Murr was all over him. Logan's going to find it. Sends it to the middle. Huskies trying to find a loose or an open guy. And the Mavericks will kick it up the center ice. Now here comes Sam Morton. Morton will fire it over to the right side. And across the line comes Grohl. He'll backhand it down. But the Huskies stop that one. And coming back now on the transition. Lead pass up for Mosley. Mosley has Kittle with him. Hands it out for Pietula. Pietula with a shot and a blocker save made by Tracy. That one went down to the left wing corner. 16 minutes remaining in the first period. No score here at the MAC. Dirk Hembroff, Phil Pietula here on Mix 93 and Flow Hockey. Cook with it now. Makes a couple of moves to get away from the uh, pressure. The Huskies back off to make a line change. Moravec now, his pass intercepted. Huskies looking to get a too many men on the ice call. Oh, the Huskies fans wanted it. Not going to get it. Here's a backhand now by Michigan Tech's Jack Works. Down to the right wing corner. And a loose puck now on the half wall. Picked up. And it's up to center ice now. And 15 27 remaining as we call an icing here. And a face out back inside of the Maverick zone. Well, I really like the first five minutes here, Dirk. Uh, Michigan Tech is really moving their feet, creating a lot of chances in front. And how about that opportunity by Hank Bartle there? He did Tracy just dead to rights, but he just couldn't tuck it in. Best scoring opportunity so far by either team. Three shots on goal for the Huskies. Mavericks still looking for their first right now, but it's early in this game. Pascal Pierce is going to take the draw, going to get Steinmetz. Good. Draw win there by Steinmetz, but the Huskies got a stick on it before they could make any move with it. And now a battle for the puck down on the half wall on the left side. Huskies doing a good job along the wall here tonight so far, early on in this game. We're almost five minutes in, there is no score, and the play is inside the Maverick zone. Lucas Souter able to work it up. That one hopped over everybody's stick. Williams going in after it now. And on the four check, Bolson, who's played well against the Huskies this season. Line change is being made now. Luke Wilson is out there. And a kick back to the high slot. Now Cook with it. His shot! And Blake misplayed it. He misplayed it, missed it with the glove, and it went off his arm and somehow stayed out of the net. Now the Mavericks putting down the pressure down below the goal line. Centering the tip, broken up by the Huskies and brought up now by Works. Works able to move it forward. Huskies are onside. The OIC will be able to make that line change now as the Mavericks try to bring it up quickly. No score. Five and a half gone here in the period. And the Huskies back inside of their own zone. Pass up the middle now for Tyrone Bronte. We talked to him during the pregame. Had a great game last Saturday night. He'll backhand it down and go to the bench for a change. One of the Mavericks going down on the plate. Loose puck in the corner. Huskies tried to center it. And it's broken up there by Luke Wilson. Cleared up by... The Mavericks to Russell, and Michigan Tech will take over back at their own blue line. 14 minutes remaining here in the first period. Here's a pass up for Kataroff. He'll bring it in, just couldn't get the shot. Second shot, another shot by the Huskies, saved there by Tracy. And the puck is loose, a shot, another save by Tracy. Another shot by the Huskies, just went wide of the net. Alex Tracy standing on his head early on here in that sequence. Another shot by Michigan Tech, that one goes wide. Bouncing puck goes back to the point. Pedersen is there, gets it down, but doesn't get it deep. And the Huskies are caught low. Trying to make a play now as Pedersen at the line and goes all the way down. Wow, just like a shooting gallery, like you mentioned, Dirk. You know, ton of pressure in front of Tracy. Tracy's been really sharp here tonight. Bouncing puck now at center ice. The Huskies and the Mavericks trying to figure out who's going to win the battle. And the Mavericks do. They go back with it. And able to work it up now to center ice. Haskins will tip it all the way down. Line change being made by Minnesota State. No score. Almost seven minutes into the first period here at the back. Huskies have had the better of the opportunity so far. Bouncing puck now is going to be brought up to center ice. Here comes Logan Kittle again. Caught from behind, but able to hang on. Sends it deep to the late guy coming in. It goes behind him. And a great defensive stick there by Isaac Gordon. Might have just saved the two and one. Here comes Sauter now. He'll shoot. Scores! Lucas Sauter with a great goal off the top of the net in. And the Mavericks on their first official shot on goal take a 1-0 lead. Yeah, what a beautiful shot there by Souter. That's kind of a broken play just outside the blue line, and he just walked in and just went top shelf on Blake Pietola. So the Huskies with all the pressure, but the Mavericks on a nice rush play. Get the first goal of the game. 1-0 Minnesota State here at the John McGinnis Student Ice Reel. Lucas Souter will get the tally. His 13th of the season, 31st of his career. And Cook now. 
Off of the draw win by Minnesota State. Able to push it forward. The Huskies able to stop the rush and will get it down inside the Mavericks zone. Michigan Tech last week was very good at getting the next goal after they were scored on. Let's see what happens here tonight. Here's Cook now, the defenseman for the Mavericks. High off the glass, cleared up to center ice, and here's another chance for Minnesota State. Carabas coming in, his backhander is denied by Blake. Good forecheck here again, Murr stepping up on the play. Fakes it one way, goes back to his forehand, now to his backhand, back to his forehand again. Centering play, good job by the Huskies to deny that one, and brought up by Hank Bartle. Bartle trying to get the red line, does so, and dumps it all the way in. Yeah, that's Nick Williams, who just laid a stick on the ice, intercepted that pass coming in front of our net. Mavericks will bring it up, long pass is denied, and that will be an icing call against Minnesota State. 1-0, Mavericks with the lead, goal by Lucas Souter, giving them the first goal of the night. I was gonna say weekend, but this is, it's funny how many people still think this is a uh, three-game series. You know, who won last night, people asking, what? Yeah. nobody. Mason will be to the right of Alex Tracy, who's already made some incredible saves for Minnesota State. Shots are 6-3 in favor of the Huskies, but the Mavericks have the one goal lead. Huskies get the line, Toscapurti dumps it in. Cook back in after it, he'll clear it, and I think some people thought that hit somebody in the bench for the Mavericks. Shot taken back inside the Michigan Tech zone. Russell able to bump off that uh, four check. And the Huskies quickly move it up to center ice now. Trailing by a goal. Here is Works. Jack Works got some good hair going right now as he got it across the line but was denied on a good defensive play made there by Mason Wheeler. And now the Huskies back inside of their own zone. 11-21 left to go in the first period. Brought to you by the Wickley Agency. Huskies tip it down. Panarok going in on the four check now. D to D to Wheeler now for the uh, Mavericks. And uh, Wheeler will flip it up to on uh, center ice. Huskies pick it up with Jed Piedela. Trying to come back quickly on the transition for Pedersen. He'll drop it there. Huskies send it right back down low. Here's a chance now for Kataroff to try to make a play. He'll lose that long reach, but not able to hang on to the puck. Casper Bajaradio backhands it down, but doesn't get it deep. Sent back out by the Mavericks, and they're gonna call this icy of way off though as Jed Piedela got down there in time. Piedela will send it back behind his own goal, and now Casper with some time and space will bring it up. Right side for Kataroff to the middle. Nice forward pass there, and Stauber will knock it all the way down inside of the zone. 10.36 left to go in the first period. A 1-0 lead for the uh, Mavericks here in this semifinal. Back across the line. Grohl. All the way down. Icing's going to be call, called. And uh, Luke Strand not excited about that call. And I can't say I blame him. Face out coming back inside the Minnesota State zone. Yeah, that was one of those icing calls that looked like it was a tie there. And they gave Michigan Tech, you know, the lead, the lead guy. They gave him the benefit of the doubt there. But... Michigan Tech has to find their legs again here. That first five minutes was really impressive. I, I can tell that goal set them on their heels a little bit, but we need that push back right now. 10-29 left to go in the period. Mavericks with the 1-0 lead. Lucas Souders, 13th of the season, and it was a beauty. Williams now back for the Huskies, sends it around. Mosley, and the Huskies out of position. Good for checking here by Sam Morton. Hands it off for Grohl. Grohl now with little time and space. Back down below for Morton. Well played there by Chase Piedela. Huskies get it to the wing, and it goes right to the uh, middle of the zone. Passed over, backhander, that hit the side of the net. And the Huskies push it now to the corner, but taken away again, here's Morton. Morton with a shot, that rising shot just went over the crossbar. Huskies now in trouble, great four check here by Minnesota State. And the Huskies can't get it outside of the zone. Morton with it again, he'll dump it down to the right wing corner. Carabas is down there now, as the Mavericks manufacture a line change Wow. Possessing the puck down inside the Michigan Tech end. Finally up to center ice. Isaac Gordon trying to get to the red line. Couldn't do it. He flips it forward, and the Huskies will try to make a line change. Ooh, they got Michigan Tech right there. Dumped all the way back inside of the Mavericks zone. 9.23 left to go here in the first period. A 1-0 lead for Minnesota State. And back inside the Michigan Tech zone, another icing fouled against the Mavericks. 9.13 remaining. This is one of those games, Dirk, where you know the next goal is huge. Last last year we got down early to Northern Michigan in that semifinal game. Just weren't able to find our way back. And tonight we need that next goal to get back in this game. Face off will be down to the right of Alex Tracy. Jordan Steinitz will take the face off for the Mavericks. Going against Blaze Richards, not playing 100%, we understand. Huskies win it back, but it goes right in between the defense, out to center ice. 
Russell on a give and go now will get it across the line. Good play by Steinmetz. Forces the turnover. Carabas brings it down. Carabas going one on one, now one on two. The Huskies were able to take it away quickly. Right up now by Russell. Michigan Tech's Russell. Not able to get it through there. Wilson with a good play. Bouncing puck now picked up by Richards again. Richards off the boards. And the Huskies will get it in deep. This is the line that sparked the Huskies last weekend. They have not been able to do it yet here tonight. 11 or 12 minutes in. Shot towards the Michigan Tech goal. Wilson going in after it on the floor check. Huskies D now get it to Jed Piedela. He'll go off the boards for Bronte. Picks it up off the wall. Bronte now trying to work it up to center ice. Using that speed. Gets it across the line. Not deep, deep, but got it to the uh, half wall anyway. Huskies able to hold it in for the moment. Isley works it up. That one picked off now by Michigan Tech. Huskies have it at center ice. Down a goal. one nothing here in the first period. Again, nearly turned over by Michigan Tech. Across comes Jack Works. Works looking over. Right into the skates of Koskipirti. Couldn't make the play. Huskies had something going right there. Koskipirti battling down. It comes up with the puck. Koskipirti now. Fans on a pass. Now gets it back. Too late. They'll send it back down low for Works. Works had to go through him. Trying to win a battle down in the corner there against Cook. Cook able to work it up. Huskies force it back in. And a shot by Works. Save made there by Tracy. Right to the front again. And it almost snuck in, but a good job by Tracy. The hold on. 7.43 left to go in the first period. Our first break. 1-0 MSU. Yeah, man. Side of the Maverick zone, 1 0 Minnesota State with the lead here at the John McGinnis Student Ice Arena. Dirk Hembroff and Phil Piedela. One of those games you just can't wait all week for them to drop the puck, and here we are. Dropped inside the Michigan Tech zone. Good break out by the Mavericks. Huskies will try to do the same here, and that one just floated up to center ice. Almost looked like the Huskies a little bit, I don't know, nervous after that. First little flurry that they had, Phil. Yeah, I would agree with you that they just need to settle down here. They're playing great hockey right now, Dirk. As long as they keep doing what they're doing, they'll be just fine. Mavericks have been playing great hockey as well. They lead 1-0. Shot in by Michigan Tech on a delayed offside. 7.08 left to go in the first period. Brought to you by the Weekly Agency. And Minnesota State now will work it over for Wheeler. Wheeler up to center ice. Off the boards. Looks like Souter got a piece of that one. The wave off the icing. Carabas going in hard on the floor check. Or that Bolson. Well, Carabas had it right. Now taken by Michigan Tech's Russell. 1 0 Minnesota State. Huskies going back behind their own net again. Mavericks kind of waiting, lurking out there, trying to force a turnover, and that's exactly what they did. 
Paradis with an attempt to get it towards the goal, but fanned on it. That one hit the referee, and that got it away from the Huskies. And here's a chance now for the Mavericks. A shot taken there. This one will be blocked and brought back up the center ice. Slapped right back inside the Michigan Tech zone. Sloppy played by both teams a little bit now as we approach the 14-minute mark of the first period. Back inside the Minnesota State zone. That one came off the wall at an angle that uh, helps out the Huskies now at center ice. They get it up now as Koskinpurki slapped away from him. Gordon will pick up the uh, loose change. Sends it over. That hit a glove. Now picked up by Jed Fiedela. Fiedela will just send it towards the goal. Loose puck as Tracy thought he had it covered up around the chest protector and did not. And it dribbled wide of the goal. Michigan Tech back inside of their own zone. Bronte fanned on a pass. Ooh, went into the boards really hard. Gets right back up though. The Huskies will bring it up now. Here's Kaskaperti over for Bronte. Picks it up on the back end. Tyrone Bronte across the way. Uses his speed. Got it to the net. And a save made there by Tracy. Not sure if Bronte actually got a shot off, but he got it to the goal. Yeah, real nifty play there by Bronte. He went forehand to backhand. Brought that puck in front of the net. Michigan Tech just needs to have another player just crash in the net, trying to get those rebounds that are laying in the crease. Yeah, he got it to the net and got, got the shot off too. Nice save by Tracy. And uh, corralled the rebound right away. Husky didn't have a second opportunity at it. That's where Bronte brings. Flipped up to center ice by the Mavericks who have been winning a lot of the faceoffs here. Oscar Purity at the line will backhand it all the way down though for Michigan Tech. Psychos will send it around. And the Mavericks now will kick it literally out to center ice. Taken now by Chase Piedela. Got it to works and make that Bartle. Bartle across now, pass in the middle for Bartle. And he got a quick shot as he kicked it to his forehand. Puck was on edge, but got something on it, and it went wide of the goal. Back inside of the Michigan Tech zone. Hustling back now is Williams. Makes a quick pass over to his defensive partner, Chase Piedela. This is going to be picked up off the boards by Kataroff. Kataroff inking it down now for Michigan Tech. Works it to his forehand. Nobody there. The defense making a line change. Nordstrom now for Bartle. Bartle had to kick that one to his backhand. And now he'll battle down to the right wing corner. Power is there as well, and a nice job by the Mavericks to quickly work it up to center ice by Sam Morton. Coming across, one of the Huskies going down, and now a loose puck down in the right wing corner of the Michigan Tech zone. Haskins in on the forecheck. He'll go to the bench for a line change. 4.33 left to go in the first. Nine shots for Michigan Tech, four for Minnesota State, but the Mavericks have the 1 0 lead on a goal by Lucas Sauter, 13th of the season, 31st of his career to center ice. Nordstrom not able to get it. Sam Morton picks it up. Loose puck picked up again by the Mavericks. They'll have to reach back for it. That's going to be offside. No, they say that's good. Cook brings it across. Centers it in front. Denied there by Campbell, who they call Soupy. Up to center ice now for Michigan Tech. A bouncing puck. Steinman's able to make the play. Moves it back for Grohl. More of it coming down with Grohl. Grohl will shoot. And a club save made by Blake. Holds on for the whistle. Boy, that didn't look like it was going to be much. Nice play, though, by the Mavericks using the defense as a screen in front of Blake. Yeah, a real nice shot there by Josh Grohl, who just got all of that puck. Real nice release on that wrist shot. Blake Pietela tracked that puck through traffic. Great glove save there by Blake Pietela. Face off down in front of Blake. Four minutes left to go in the first period. one nothing. Mavericks with the lead. Steinmetz taking the uh, draw in the offensive zone. The Huskies, Logan Pietela will win it. And Michigan Tech will tip it up the center ice. Oh, here's a chance for Mosley. Mosley dropping it for Logan. Logan back to the weak side for Gordon. Had to retrieve it. Oh, a shot! And a chance there by Logan. Logan knocked it out of midair and still got a shot off, but it went over the crossbar. Here's a chance now for Logan again for Gordon. Not able to hang on to that one. Good. Rush here by Michigan Tech to the front of the goal. Bouncing puck is right there. Steinmetz now trying to find it. He'll just do anything to get it outside of the zone. He does just that. Huskies, nope, are onside still. Picked up by Logan. They'll come right back in. And another good shift by that line, Phil, for Michigan Tech. Yeah, that would have been a highlight real goal had Logan put that one in. He knocked it out in midair and almost put that in the back of their net. Murr got knocked off of the play, lost his stick, but the Huskies won't be able to hold it in. Karadas will flip it up and he actually sent it into his own bench and with 306 left to go in the first period it's still a one nothing lead for minnesota state we see this uh, replay here with logan sending it over there for gordon who had to retrieve it on his back and knocked down by logan <laughs> he just couldn't finish off what would have been a pretty impressive play yeah that puck was fluttering and you could tell he just couldn't get kind of flew on him and you know the release was off because that puck was rolling face off in the neutral zone this will go out of play again that's a souvenir punk brought to you by the reliance insurance agency of Launch nine shots to five for Michigan Tech, but a one-nothing Minnesota State lead here in game 
All right, it's not game one, the only game for the semifinal. Shot taken by the Huskies, and it looked like Tracy had a little trouble with that one, but he steered it aside. Huskies putting on some pressure now, trying to tie this game up. They send it over. Here's Chase with a shot. That one did not get through. Got blocked right in front of him. Great job there by Jordan Power, and now it's back out to center ice. Bronte with it now. Takes it across the line. One on four. Wins the battle to hang on to it for a little while. Now Costa Pirti back to the point. Here's Piedela waiting, shoots, and again, Wilson getting in the way that time. Minnesota State has been one of the best teams in blocking shots in the CCHA, and boy, they are showing that here tonight. Now it's Works. Works able to get a loose puck to the front of the goal on the side there. Costa Pirti working against Isley down there. Isley going down. Bronte able to fish it out of there. Goes to the weak side point. Here's Nordstrom. Nordstrom with a shot. That one was blocked again. Boy, what a shift by Jordan Power defensively and Wilson. And finally, the Mavericks able to skate it up the center ice and just flip it down inside the Michigan Tech zone. And a delayed offside call. It looks like it's going to be against Minnesota State. Yeah, we were talking about Jordan Power, number 13 for Minnesota State. What a special player for their club. Uh, transfers from Clarkson, and uh, he plays plays a lot of minutes, and he's one of those defensemen that just makes that first pass look so easy. And if you can break your team out like that, you know, every team knows, needs those type of defensemen. Face off will be in the neutral zone. Sam Morton's line back out there. Nice draw win by Arvid Kateroff. one nothing. Mavericks with the lead. We're under two to play in the first period. Huskies have had a pretty good share of grade A scoring opportunities, but have not been able to find the back of the net yet. And now Wheeler puts it up the center ice off of Grohl. This is going to go down right in front of Blake, and he's not going to take a chance. And we'll cover it up. That's been uh, Blake's trademark through most of his career. We, we are surprised when he plays the puck with any kind of pressure. That one, of course, he, what he does normally and hangs on to it. Yeah, and I think he was just looking at the matchup. We had a fourth line out on the ice, and they've been out there for over 30 seconds. Time to get some new personnel. Jordan Steinmetz will take the faceoff now for the uh, Mavericks. Going against Logan Pietel, a minute 36 left to go in the first period. Minnesota State with the one nothing lead. Lucas Sauter with a nice shot over to beat Blake Pietel earlier in the period. Here come the Huskies now. Logan coming down, pushes it forward. Shot there taken by Gordon Fand on it. Huskies hold it in. Shot there off the side of the net. Another shot. Save. Rebound. Loose puck in front of Tracy. Huskies have it again. And Tracy just stood his ground. Made the save. Back to the point. Another one. This one ricocheted wide of the net. Huskies with the pressure now. Bouncing puck. And the Mavericks couldn't kick it out. Here's Logan. Here's a chance for Mosley. Got it to the front of the net. Flipped it back over. Huskies have them. Back up against the ropes right now. Russell will pinch in. Less than a minute to play. Here's a shot. Saved by Tracy. Holds on for the whistle. I don't know who's more tired. The Huskies on the four check or the uh, Mavericks playing defense. Nice job by Tracy to hold on there. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Tracy's uh, definitely the star of the first period here. Mosley, Pietela, and Gordon are just all over the place and um, generating a lot of opportunities. That line is going to get rewarded at some point if they keep playing like that. Dirk. 13 shots on goal now for Michigan Tech. Just five for the Mavericks. But a 1-0 lead for Minnesota State. Lucas Sauter, the difference in the game right now in this one-game semifinal. Chance now back the other way for Grohl. Grohl has Sauter with him, trying to get back his chase. Here's a shot, save made there by Blake. Oh, Chase is gonna... Huskies. A little bit of uh, pushing and shoving after the whistle there. And a uh, face-off coming up. See the replay here. Nice shot by Blake to hang on. Little tap by Souter. I think that's why Chase was given, uh, help, I guess, uh, protected his brother more than anything there. But you want to be careful in a game like this. Yeah, you sure do. And, you know, as I give credit to the refs tonight. They're just letting them play. And it is just an absolute war out there tonight so far. A lot of sticks, a lot of physical play. But, hey, let the players decide it. Sam Morton's line, they win the draw in the Michigan Tech zone. Back to the point of shot taken, blocked in front. Works waited too long to get rid of the puck. And Grohl is in on the forecheck. He comes up the loose puck, makes the move, trying to get around Jed Piedela. Grohl is able to muscle it back to the point. Shot taken again. Saved by Blake. He didn't see that coming in. Or it got redirected right in front of him. One of the two. And now another centering pass. And Sauter with the chance for a second goal. Just did not find the back of the net. And the Huskies trying to skate it up the center ice. Bronte does. Gets the red line. Doesn't get it in deep, though. 
And the Mavericks, Souter again taking it. 15 seconds left to go in the period. Knocked down by Chase. Chase looking up ice now for Bronte. Thought he could spring him. And that's going to be an ice team call against Michigan Tech with 7.9 seconds left in the first period. A big mistake by the Huskies to not get that deep once they got the red line. Yeah, that's for sure, Dirk. But that's eight seconds left. You've got to get that puck deep. But Lucas Souter, he almost made us pay again. And I'll tell you what, if he would have put that one in the back of our net there with 20 seconds left, that would have... That would have been a tough pill to swallow. Face off down in front of Blake, and Huskies have some tired bodies out there right now. You can see Tyrone Bronte is leaning on his knees with his stick. He's dead tired out there. Logan trying to win a big draw, going against Adam Isley. And a draw one indeed by Logan. That is big. The Huskies trying to eat it now in the corner. Shot towards the goal, and another chance. Another shot and a save. Oh, the Huskies. Just about saw the Mavericks take advantage of some tired bodies out there. And Michigan Tech and Minnesota State will go to their locker rooms. The Mavericks with a 1-0 lead after one period of play. Good push by Minnesota State towards the end of that period. But the Huskies had their opportunities throughout first period action. Yeah, I really feel like uh, Michigan Tech came out and you know established their, their will against Minnesota State and Minnesota State like you said at times did push back in that period but I feel like if they play the same game they should be okay. Shots in the first period 13 for the Michigan Tech Huskies 8 for the Minnesota State Mavericks we are joined by Ryland Mosley uh, down in the tunnel here with the John McGinnis student ice arena after period number one. Ryland what are your thoughts on that first period? Uh, I thought we had a good first we got a lot of chances we just got to shut down their big line we know they can score. We just got to play good defensively when they're on the ice and not uh, give them pucks and turn it over to them. Ryland, uh, you guys look like you have a lot of energy out there tonight. You and Logan and Isaac Gordon, a lot of opportunities in that first period. What do you need to do to get one by Tracy here? Uh, we just got to keep on getting shots. One of them's going to go in. Logan and uh, Gordo can shoot the puck, so just got to find them in the slot, and they're going to bury one eventually. Ryland, I wanted to ask you before we let you go, when you had that last flurry down there, that great shift you had down there, and you flipped it, were you trying to go off the goaltender, Tracy, and in, or was that a pass out to the front? Uh, I was kind of just a flick and see, like, hope and a prayer. <laughs> but uh, if it hit his back and went in, that would be a plus. But maybe I'll get on uh, like that. All right, thanks for your time. Yeah, Ryland, thanks. good luck in the second. Ryland Mosley, who's had a lot of success against Minnesota State, but, boy, Alex Tracy, as you mentioned, Phil, star of the game so far after 20 minutes of play. Yeah, you can say that again. They had probably six or seven grade A opportunities in that period alone, and Tracy has just been spectacular so far here, Dirk. And kind of your worst nightmare, really, so far is, you know, putting that type of effort out there and being down one nothing. And uh, But they, here's where they've been here before. They need to push back. They need to get... You know, the next goal in this game. 13 shots for the Huskies, 8 for Minnesota State. Lucas Souter, the difference in the game right now. He had given the Minnesota State Mavericks the one nothing lead in that first period. We'll take a break. Be back here tuned to Mix 93 WKJ and Flow Hockey.
along with Phil Pietala here on Mix 93 and Flow Hockey. one nothing lead for the Mavericks as they dump it inside of the Michigan Tech Zone. Happy to have you with us here on Flow Hockey as well. Play down inside the Michigan Tech end. Pushed up now by Williams. Able to get away from a defender and up the center ice now for Logan Pietala. He'll get it over for Gordon. Gordon for Mosley. That would hit a skate back to Chase. Chase will walk it all the way down to the corner. Right to the front of the goal. Couldn't get it to the front. Chase with it again. Chase Pietala using that reach right to the front. Mosley with it and just could not find a way to get a handle on the backhand. Now Isaac Gordon hustling down in the corner, but fanned on the uh, attempt to move the puck. Michigan Tech will get it back to the front of the goal. Bouncing puck and the Huskies with a good first shift here, trying to tie this game up. Isaac Gordon knocked down hard on the play by Sam Morton. Centering attempt by the Huskies, pushed away there by goaltender. Alex Tracy up to center ice. Now come the Mavericks. Dumped all the way in by Grohl. Morton will get down there. He'll try to kill some time for a line change there for Minnesota State as they work it back to the blue line now for Cook. Cook with a shot and a save by Blake here in the second period. Brought to you by Copper Country Four. Yeah, nice thought there by Blake Pietala to hold that puck, get a whistle because that our top line, Michigan Tech's top line there was out there for a little bit too long there, Dirk. Yeah, the second period, boy, with that long change, you really have to be careful. And Huskies have struggled, been well documented, struggled with that over the years. They're much better at it than they were a couple of years ago. The face off will be down in front of Blake. One nothing lead for the uh, Mavericks. 13 shots right now for the Huskies. Nine for Minnesota State. Shot goes wide of the net. Back inside the Michigan Tech right wing corner, up to the half ball now. Morovic sending it over. Cook with a shot. That one redirected wide of the net. And Minnesota State will get it back out to center, or Huskies will get it out to center ice. Minnesota State back across the line, but taken away by Campbell. Huskies pushing it up now with Russell. Rasmussen across the line. Didn't have any speed going. He was waiting at the blue line. 
And Russell following it up. Pedersen is there as well. Russell's going to get back. Cook's going to pick it up. Goes high off the glass. Clears it to the high slot. And that was fortunate for the Mavericks. Went right to Murr. And they'll get it down for a line change. Yeah, just Minnesota State just got that puck deep. Got some new legs on the ice. And, you know, they've been really carrying the play so far in this period. Bad pass by Michigan Tech. Allows Isley to go down into the forecheck now. And sent around. Huskies are out of position. Back to the point. Sent back down low below the goal line. Isley back to the blue line. Psychos over for Wilson. A hard save there. Glove, or hard shot, I should say. Glove save made by Blake. It was going wide anyway, but he couldn't hold on to it. And the play continues down the right wing corner. One goal lead. One nothing. Minnesota State. And the Huskies right now are struggling on this good forecheck by the Mavericks. Russell pushing it up now for Patterson. Patterson with a nice play to get it over for Campbell. And Campbell will flip it up to uh, center ice. That's bounced across, and Psychos will have to chase it down. 17-24 left to go in period number two. Tip down inside of the Michigan Tech zone. In after it now, Jed Piedela. Piedela works it off the boards there for Koskaperti. Got a piece of that one. Works. Couldn't backhand it out. Koskaperti knocks it down with the glove. Now pushes it forward. The Huskies get the line and shot in wisely there by Tyrone Bronte. Sent around by Bellini. Bronte with a centering attempt. Koskaperti kicked it from. Scores! It went off a, one of the Huskies and in. And they're calling it a good goal. And I think it is. Game. Yeah, I think that was Jack Works or Dirk who deflected that puck into the net. I think like you mentioned, I think it will stand. No kick in motion that I see there. Oh, off the seat. Three minutes gone here in the second period. Huskies have tied it up. Mavericks talking to the officials as you would expect certainly here. He's pressing quite a bit here. 13 shots on goal for Michigan Tech. 10 for Minnesota State. Luke Strand getting the explanation from the officials right now. We'll see what they do on this one. Michigan Tech finally getting one past Alex Tracy, who's just been outstanding here so far here tonight. Good puck movement by Michigan Tech. And that's one thing the Huskies have done in the last two or three weekends, Phil, is their puck movement has been better. They kind of lost it a little bit in that first period, but they got it back here. And let's see what's going to happen here. And see if we get something from the officials. Calling the ice is a good goal. Minnesota State is challenging the play for the puck being kicked in the net. The goal is under review. All right, so let's see what happens here. Three minutes gone here in the second period. And they'll take a look at this one, Phil. Yeah, and you can, you know, predict that from Luke Strand. I think he wanted the official's interpretation first to decide if he was going to challenge that because, of course, if they lose the challenge, he'll lose his timeout. Well, the Huskies were 0 for 4 or even 0 for 5 on uh, reviews last Saturday night in that wacky game that we saw in which they were able to win 6 to 5, scoring in the last... Uh, 63 seconds of regulation to get the win. You can see the replay for those watching on flow. And uh, works with the redirect in. And it's going to be interesting to see what they call on this one. And certainly, certainly cannot blame the uh, Mavericks for wanting this to be looked at here. And if it is a disallowed goal, and remember, it does not matter if it goes off the goaltender it in. And so the puck is at center ice. If it's a disallowed goal, I believe it goes, the faceoff goes all the way back inside the tech zone, or at least outside of the zone, I would imagine. And uh, we'll just kind of wait and see here as the fans are waiting anxiously here at a packed house with the John McGinnis Student Ice The second semifinal will feature Bemidji State, the McNaughton Cup champions, hosting. Damon Winton and the Lake Superior State Lakers in a second semifinal in the Mason Cup CCHA tournament. That is coming up at 8.07 from Sanford Arena. Those watching on flow will be able to see that game as well. That is why they staggered the games here. 5 o'clock start Eastern and then 8 o'clock start Eastern in the two semifinals. The winner of these two games will meet up next week Saturday night, and the review is final. 
review. Have to review the call on the ice. is going to stand. We got a good goal. Well, the Mavericks lose a timeout. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit surprised on that, but the Huskies have tied it up. Again, you can redirect it in. If they didn't determine it was a kicking motion. And the Huskies' goal stands. Jack works with a huge goal for Michigan Tech, his 10th of the season. And we are all knotted up 1 1 here in the semifinal. A, a uh, icing called against the Mavericks. Of the season. That's a very tough call for an official to make, and that's why they get paid the big bucks, I guess, Dirk, because that was uh, the call on the ice, I think, is why it went in our favor, but uh, like you said, or in Michigan Tech's favor, I think, like you said, it could have went either way. Yeah, that was a close one, no doubt about it. The longer they looked at it, the more I thought it might stand. It looked like a pretty clean cut, you know, right in the open uh, area there with a oh watch out big hit there on chases is sent all the way down we're back to action now as minnesota state now will push it up to center ice williams trying to get back and nice play by sam morton he's tripped up on the play the huskies are going to be whistled for the first penalty of the game sam morton using that great speed and elusiveness forced the huskies to take him down the michigan tech defense got out of position in the neutral zone and the first power play goes to minnesota state And a face-off coming up inside of the Michigan Tech zone. Penalty kill brought to you by Core Wellness Chiropractic and Natural Medicine. Tied 1-1. 16-27 remaining. Michigan Tech trying to kill off a penalty as the Mavericks win the face-off. Back for Murr. Murr slides it over. Shot too wide open in front and waiting for it was Moravec. He almost got it. Another shot. Big rebound off of Blake. Cleared by the Huskies all the way down. No, not knocked down there by Murr to keep it in the neutral zone. Well played by him, and now Wilson across the line. He'll push it forward. Carabas takes a hit, goes down on the play. Russell with it. He's got to get a clear, and he does all the way down. Yeah, Brett Moravec was right in front of the net, number four. He's a freshman, very skilled player who is just ready to pounce on that puck in front of Blake. Mavericks bring it up. They're on the power play. We're knotted up at one apiece in the semifinal here. Bolson, Bolson across the line. Lost it, got it back. Bolson sends it down to the right wing corner. Carabas now behind the net, able to work it over for Luke Wilson. Wilson up top for Murr. Murr slides it over. Carabas shot, saved by Blake. Rebound is there. He couldn't hold on to it. It's still loose. And Blake finally hops on top of it. Oh, Blake Pianola could not suck that one up and absorb it completely, but he did a nice job to stay with it. Yeah, real nifty uh, power play here by Minnesota State. A lot of movement behind with players without the pocket. Morovic was one of those guys, he's right outside the paint. Blake Pietola had a hard time finding that puck. Great job by Williams, too, for Michigan Tech defensively, tying up the man in front. And the Huskies will lose another draw, so the Mavericks get it back. They're on the power play, tied 1-1. First man advantage of the game. Morton across, brings it down to the right wing corner. Morton with it, sends it right to the goal. It's right there, loose in front. Sauter was in the vicinity. Husky stealing away as Koskipurti will clear it down. Great play there by Max Koskipurti. If he doesn't pick up that puck right there, that's an easy tap in for Minnesota State. Shots are all even up, 14-14. Score, 1-1. One, one. Five minutes gone here in the second period. Cross for Isley. Isley tried to feed it. Good interception there by Jed Pielo to clear it down. A great job just getting in the passing lane, not letting Minnesota State get easy entries on this power play. 24 seconds left in the penalty to chase Pietala. Brought up now by Bellini. Cross now for Kranich. Kranich will get a deep. Huskies can't clear it away. Hit a body. Mosley's got it. He puts it over to some open ice. And Jed Pietala swings it around and clears it down. Oh, that's a great play by Michigan Tech. They were in trouble. Yeah, that's a very tough play right there. Jed Pietala had that puck on his backhand. Had to get it to the forehand. Get it all the way down the ice. Penalty is over, but here come the Mavericks across. Hillman will shoot. Saved by Blake. Swung around there by Williams and hit the referee again. Right to the front of the Michigan Tech goal. A bouncing puck in front of Blake. And nobody can find it. It goes back to the top of the circle. Bartle trying to find a way out with it. He can't do it. Oh, the Huskies had a chance to clear. Couldn't get it outside. Nice job by the Mavericks to keep it in. And now Haskins is battling for it. He gets it back to the blue line. Over, skates the puck, bounced it off of his stick. Back outside, and the Huskies finally get it clear. 
And it looks like that puck is really bouncing out there, Dirk. Building is warm. It's a very good crowd here tonight for this huge game. 1-1 one, one score. We're back to five-on-five five play. Dirk Hembroff, Phil Pietala here on Mitch 93 and Flow Hockey. Williams nudges it forward and nearly turned it over. Now he goes down. It is a turnover. Two-on-one for the Mavericks. A pass over for Karabas, and it was behind him. Michigan Tech dodging a bullet right there. As Moravik brought it down, and now Michigan Tech will bring it up on the rush. Cross the line for Works. Works trying to pick it up, but couldn't do it. Saiko is able to move it over to the far side. Now Chase Pietel to try to hold it in. Isaac Gordon, good delay. Here comes Gordon. A shot! And that one blockered away, I believe, there. Another shot. That one hit somebody in front. Works with it right at the side of the goal. Campbell comes in. The puck goes high into the air. And it's knocked down there by the defenseman, Mason Wheeler. He'll bring it up to center ice. Mason lugs it across the Michigan Tech line. Campbell coming back on the play. And a bouncing puck right to the goal. And holding on to it will be Blake Pietela for the whistle with 12.56 left to go in the second period. Boy, we were hoping for a good game. We've got it so far. Yeah, we sure have, Dirk. It's just back and forth here this period. It looks like a track meet out there. Guys going all the way down and all the way back. A lot of action in front of both goaltenders. Face off will be down in front of Blake Pietela. Second period being brought to you by Copper Country Ford. Adam Isley taking the offensive zone faceoff for the uh, Mavericks. And Kataroff able to win that nicely for Michigan Tech. They work it around to the wing. Having trouble with that one was Pedersen. And diving and making a play was Pedersen to get that out. Pushes it up and the Huskies somehow manufacture a dump in on that play. That one hopped right to the front of the goal and a good job there by Alex Tracy to hang on for the whistle. And a faceoff coming up inside of the Mavericks zone. 1-1 one, one score. Jack Works with a tying goal. Redirected the puck in, and it tied it up here in the second period. And you kind of knew it was going to be one of those type of goals to get by Tracy. And, you know, it wasn't a pretty one, and it was reviewed and considered to be a good goal, but one of those good bounces that Michigan Tech needed. Yeah, absolutely. They've earned a couple of good bounces with the way they've played here tonight. Both teams have. Shots are very even up now. The Huskies had a big advantage in the first period early on, but the Mavericks with that power play especially have fought right back on the shot chart. 1-1 one, one score. Play inside of the Michigan Tech zone. Huskies to Jed Pietela. Trying to get away from Lucas Souter. Not easy to do. Gordon chops it up to center ice. Mosley's going to pick up the puck now. It's rolling all the way down. And will send it to the front of the net. And Michigan Tech... We'll get guys back in time as it was worked out to center ice. Gordon across the line now. Sends it over. Picked up off the boards by Logan. Logan Pietela tried to center it back for Isaac Gordon, but that hit a body on the way out. Back to the point. Shot taken. Blocked again. Chase, second opportunity, able to hold it in. Mosley, quick pass to the front. And just into the skates of Logan. And here come the Mavericks now on a three-on-two. Huskies are tired. Lucas Souter across the line for Morton. And holding on for the whistle. It's going to be Blake Pietel with 11.38 remaining here in the first period. We're all tied up 1-1. Yeah, another freeze by Blake Pietel to just cover that puck and allow this line to get off the ice. They spent most of the time in the Minnesota State zone there. Now well, face up in front of Blake. Blake is really settled down after that first goal. Tracy has been incredibly solid in net two down to our left. And a face off will be taken by Hillman going against Conscapurti. Both teams have had long spells with key players out of their lineup this season. A lot of them coming back. Huskies getting a couple guys back last weekend. Here's Hillman now, brings it around. He'll shoot. This one went high into the air. A dangerous play right there as Psychos comes in for the point. He'll send it behind the net now. Bouncing puck down to the uh, side wall. Back to the point. Picked up by Hillman. Big slap shot. That one just missed wide. Williams was knocked down on the play and a good screen in front of Blake, but the puck went wide of the net. Huskies trying to get a handle on the puck and will get it in deep. Bronte getting there first. Bronte picks it up behind the net. Tyrone Bronte with it on his backhand. Hands it up. No, he hangs on to it. He's the last guy back and just got rid of it to Campbell in time. Now Campbell's the last guy back. He'll walk in. Campbell still has it on his stick. And we'll send it to the middle. Huskies turn it over. Well played there by the Mavericks. Coming back on the play now is Wheeler. Wheeler coming across. Drop pass. Shot. Big rebound. Scored. Huskies with the pressure down there. And the Huskies 
find the Mavericks coming back on the play, and they score and take their second lead of the game, 2-1. to one. Yeah, and what a play there by Minnesota State to just stick with that puck, and you could just tell something bad was about to happen there. Matthew Campbell got taken out of the play and forced a two-on-one rebound right to Minnesota State. Hillman made, Hillman made no mistake. Nice goal by Hillman. 6'2", 193 from Blaine of Minnesota. He also played at Youngstown. Only his second goal of the season. And the Mavericks with a 2-1 lead, their second lead of the game. And dumped all the way down inside of Michigan Tech zone. Back out the center ice for the Huskies. Bartle with it, gets it across the line. Delayed for a second. Richards will dump it in. Again, this is that line for Michigan Tech that they've been looking to for a spark. Consider kind of the checking line, but boy, they've had some great opportunities right to the net again. And they almost got it right there. Good job by Tracy to hang on to it as the puck just squirted to the crease. And you can tell their job is to go out there and make some body checks and get that puck in front, generate a little bit of chaos in front of the Minnesota State goaltender. No faceoff coming up inside of the Maverick zone. 16, nine, or 19 16 now, the shots in favor of Minnesota State. The Mavericks have had one power play. The Huskies have not had a power play yet. In a pretty clean game, as you mentioned earlier, Phil, the officials letting them play. Huskies will win a faceoff right through the goal on a save there again by Tracy. Set play by Michigan Tech, it looked like right there, and they got the shot off. Tracy made the save, and the rebound was. Sent out by Minnesota State. Chase Fiedler with it now. Pitches it around on the near side wall. Back inside of the Michigan Tech zone. Four check by Souter. Out there, the number one line for Luke Strand's team. Down in the left wing corner. A couple of players, or one player falling down. Huskies will push it up. Williams will go back for it. Nick Williams gets it across the red line, then the blue line drops it there for Richards. Paddled away there by Tracy to the front of the goal again, and a loose puck. The Huskies couldn't find it. Now behind the net again, centering the tap, that one denied. And Souter will skate it up now, but he can't get it outside of the zone. He turns it over. And Hatteroff will send it back inside. Murr with it now, the freshman defenseman, second team, CCHA honors, up to center ice and all the way down. This will be an icing call against the Mavericks. They won't be able to make that change. And keep in mind, the Mavericks have lost their timeout here tonight uh, with a challenge that didn't go their way. Face off back inside of their zone. A real interesting play there by Matthew Campbell. That puck was in the area, could easily caught it. He just ducked out of the way and let that puck go all the way down for the icing call. So a faceoff coming up in front of uh, Alex Tracy. Logan going against Sam Morton. Morton will win the faceoff back. Mavericks trying to get a clear, can't do it. Oh, they do a second opportunity. It was knocked down by Isaac Gordon. And Michigan Tech now will retrieve it back inside of their own zone where it's brought up by Campbell. His pass going to be knocked out of play. A souvenir puck brought to you by the Reliance Insurance Agency at once. And we'll have a stoppage of play. We'll step away. Minnesota State has regained the lead 2-1 to one, here at the back. Time to make some noise for a piping hot pizza courtesy of Domino's Pizza Houghton. Tonight's lucky winners in Section N. Make some noise for a fresh hot pizza delivered right to your seat. Tech Hockey would like to thank Pat's Foods and Festival Foods for sponsoring Campione's Corner throughout the regular season. Visit Pat's Foods Facebook page to find great food ideas for your St. Patrick's Day celebration. Thank you, Campione, for your
action here at the MAC. 2-1, Minnesota State regaining the lead here in the semifinal. It is a one and done situation. Mavericks with control behind the net. Centering pass goes all the way back to the point. Bellini, a good hold in there. Shot towards the goal, blocked by the Huskies, but it travels towards the Michigan Tech goal. Knocked down was Logan Piano on the play. Sam Morton will pick it up. Number one line against number one line out there right now, and the Mavericks have it deep inside of the Michigan Tech zone. Piedela hooked, held on the play. They didn't call it, and it's going to be a face, a space off inside of the zone as Blake Piedela holds on. The Mavericks might have got away with a little bit of a tug there on Logan right here. Yeah, I agree with you, Dirk. It looked like a little bit of a um, hold there on Sam Morton, but Sam Morton, a super senior, is something special to watch. You can just tell this game is, you know, he's almost beyond this game. He's almost a point of game player, special player for Minnesota State. 24 goals coming into this game. That's the best in the league. Cross now for Works for Michigan Tech, trying to tie this up again. Back now for Koskopirti. Max gets it back to the point. Now Williams with it. Williams will shoot. Got it wide of the net. Picked up by Works. He's got the only Husky goal. Works now over. Back to the point. Williams sends it over now for Chase. Chase will send it towards the goal. Actually got it on net. Here's Koskopirti with it now. He'll send it towards the goal. And broken up there by Psycho. Psychos will get a clear up to center ice. And Williams has got to move it quickly. Rolling puck now for the Huskies. Back across the line. Bronte not able to find it. Psychos will clear it back up. And Isley able to push it forward back inside the Michigan Tech zone. Huskies and the Mavericks here in the semifinal. Minnesota State with a 2-1 lead. 7.51 remaining. For our radio listeners, we'll have Pepsi trivia coming up during the next intermission. Huskies battling for it. We'll come up the loose puck for Chase Pietola. Makes a nice move. Gets a little rise out of the crowd and sends it in. It looked like Alex Tracy wasn't expecting that one coming in hot. And back out the center ice. It goes for Cosper. Baja Radio moves it over for... Piedela, Piedela across the line, that's Jed. And back the other way now, Haskins giving chase against Baja Radio. Baja Radio will send it all the way around. Richards has got to make a play, and boy did he ever. Nice chip out by Blaze Richards, allowing the Huskies to get back in set position. This will be an icing call against Minnesota State. And boy, you look, that's a simple little play over there, but that could have been a, a big play in favor of Minnesota State, but the Huskies got it out. Yeah, real ni nice play there by Blaze Richards to just angle a stick and just use the nine iron to let that one chip out of the zone. And like you said, if that turns around the other way, uh, it's a two on one coming come, coming back towards Blake Piedela. Face off down in front of Alex Tracy. 21 shots for the Huskies, 20 now for Minnesota State. Kataroff not able to win that draw. Nobody wins it cleanly, but the Huskies try to slap it to the front of the goal. Cash Rasmussen. Cycles it down. Here's Kataroff right to the front again. Denied. Right to the front. There, and a save made. It went off a skate right to the goal, and Tracy had to make a great stop. Back outside the center ice and shot right back in. Again, hit the linesman on the way in, and the Mavericks will chip it back out the center. Campbell is there, has a little bit of time now. The Minnesota State tries to make a line change on the fly. Pushes it up nicely there to Huskies across now. Cash, big rebound. Went all the way through everybody. Back to the point. Russell will hold it in, barely. Kataroff struggling with it. And the Huskies have nobody down low as Minnesota State now will send it over for Cook. Cook for Murr. Murr in a little bit of trouble. Good forecheck there by Mosley. And the puck goes back out the center. Huskies get it at the line. Delayed outside against Michigan Tech. They'll try to change up a couple of guys. And bringing it up now will be Cook. He'll get it deep inside of the Michigan Tech zone. Mavericks with a one goal lead. Two to one here in the second period. Sent all the way back now inside of the Minnesota State zone. Mavericks off of the boards. Clear it up the center ice and bringing it across now is Morovic. Morovic with a shot. That one deflected off of the stick, I believe, of Nick Williams high over the net. Play still inside the Michigan Tech zone. Chase reaching out for it. Has to try to make a play now. And gets beat on the play. Steinmetz in on the forecheck. Kicks it over. The Huskies intercept. And now Alex Gordon trying to make a play. Gets it over for Mosley. Mosley had no idea where it was. He knew it was coming. Didn't know where from exactly. And the angle on it, but sent all the way down by the Huskies. Now up the center ice, Carabas is hollering for the puck, but the Huskies intercept. This is going to be knocked out of play and a souvenir puck brought to you by the Reliance Insurance Agency of Lunch. And just going back to that opportunity for Michigan Tech, it went off a skate again, Dirk, and oh, almost two goals off of skates here. If that went in, and Tracy, what a phenomenal blocker save to keep that one out of their net. 
Want to let you know that the Wickley Agency in Hancock enjoys a reputation of being fair, honest, and always 100% committed to serving their customers. Go to wickleyagency.com. Back to action here at the back. 2-1 lead for Minnesota State. Winner moves on. Loser is done for the season. Baja Radio for Michigan Tech. Takes his time. Able to work it up to center ice now. Bouncing puck goes back inside the Michigan Tech zone. They're going to say no icing. Saying Baja Radio could have played that. Pass to the front. Jed Pietola, fortunately for the Huskies, was able to haul that in cleanly. And Works will let this one go up to center ice. Sent right back in by Minnesota State. Under five to play in the second period. A one-goal lead for the Mavericks. Huskies tied it up in this second. Then saw Minnesota State score again. Here's Tyrone Bronte behind the net. Gets it back to Jed Pietola. Pietola waits. One-timer! Hard shot right off the backboard. Tyrone Bronte with a shot. Saved by Tracy. And the rebound sent to the corner. Pietola comes off. Mavericks send it up. They're going to wave off the icing. Getting a piece of that one there was Luke Wilson. And now Isley goes in hard on the boards. And a penalty coming up against Russell. Michigan Tech whistled on their second penalty of the game second power play for Minnesota State. As we see the replay of the one-timer by Richards. Came right back out front to there. Here's the call. Michigan Tech penalty number eight. Minor penalty boarding. Boarding the call against Russell. And the Huskies fans not liking it, but a faceoff coming up inside of the zone. Yeah, needless to say, this is a critical part of the game, Dirk, just being down one goal here, and Minnesota State's going to get a power play, and if they score a goal here, it would be re a really big hurdle to overcome. Bolson. And the Huskies will win the faceoff and sent all the way down. So a penalty kill brought to you by Core Wellness Chiropractic and Natural Medicine. The Huskies killed off the first one. The Mavericks... Over 20% on their power play coming in here tonight. 20.3% to be exact. Have the man advantage. Good play there by Chase Pielli. He lost his footing, though. And the Mavericks will hold it in. They're up by a goal. Huskies trying to keep it that way. Murr will send it down to Wilson. Wilson at the right dot. Back up top for Murr. The freshman slides over to the middle. Takes it one way, goes to the left side. Parabas now. Being watched by Mosley. Back up for Murr. Murr looks to shoot. Does. Had traffic in front. Good play there by Chase. And he'll clear it all the way down. Well, nice job by Chase Pietola. Just not panicking there. And letting that puck settle down on a stick to get the clear all the way down. Casper Baja Radio limping. Trying to get to the bench. To see if he comes back. As is brought up now by Minnesota State. Still on the power play for 55 seconds. They've got a good rush going on. Oh, they call offside. Souter looks back and he can't believe it. I didn't see it. But a face off coming up in the neutral zone. Yeah, and Souter had a full head of steam coming down to the Michigan Tech zone, and we'll see on this replay if this looked off sides, but. Uh, they called uh, Isley on it. Might have lifted up that. That was close. Huskies might have got a little bit of a break right there. What 2-1 lead for the uh, Mavericks. Still on the power play for 49 seconds. Huskies have it. Wrapped all the way around, and this will not come out of the zone. Held in by Lucas Souter. He's got it on the left side now. Souter back up top. Cook. Here's a shot, say big rebound off of Blake, and it went through everybody. He went right to his brother and sent all the way down by Logan. Yeah, he kicked that puck right off his pad, right in the slot. Unfortunately, it went through everyone, landed on Logan's stick. 30 seconds left in the man advantage. Penalty kill brought to you by Cora Wellness. Souter backhands it across. Morton bringing it in. His centering pass to Souter. Souter brought it to the corner. Chase Pietola down in the corner, protecting the puck, trying to eat some clock here. 15 seconds left, got it to Kateroff. He's got to make a play, and he does. Smart play by Arvin. Yeah, he, he had traffic in front of him. He just turned around and almost shot it backwards to get that puck all the way down. Three seconds left to go in the power play for the Mavericks. Brought up now by Cook. Cross the line, will shoot it in. And the penalty is over. Play, though, inside the Michigan Tech zone. Mavericks with it. Back to the point. Bellini was wide open. He'll send it over now for the defense. Bellini with it again, right side. Shot, Hillman, saved by Blake and holds on for the whistle. <sighs> well, the Huskies trying to protect their goaltender. Faceoff will come up inside the Michigan Tech zone. Shot taken there by Hillman. He almost got his second goal of the game. 
Chase Pietel, that's kind of pushing the limits there, Derek. I think a game like this, you cannot afford to get another penalty uh, at this point in the game. 2.05 left to go in the second period. 2-1 Minnesota State, the Huskies. The face off inside their zone. Hillman will take the draw. Michigan Tech will win it. They go back up the same wall. And now Stauber battling in after it. Kicked back in by the Mavericks. And a bouncing puck for Gordon works up for Williams. Oh, watch out. Williams was getting lined up there by Haskins. Huskies get it in deep. And the fans are looking for a call against Minnesota State. Not going to get it there with a minute 42 remaining. 2-1, Mavericks with the lead. We're in the second period. And Minnesota State takes it from behind their own net. Pass up the center ice across for Steinmetz. Gets it deep inside the Michigan Tech zone. Karabas loses it. Kataroff now for Michigan Tech. Protects it. And loses it right to the front. Oh, what a save by Blake. Loose puck is still there. Huskies can't clear it away, and they do. That was in the back of the net. And Blake kept it out. That is the most unbelievable save I have seen all season long. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, Dirk. That should have been a guaranteed goal for Minnesota State. What a save there by Blake Piedela. Last minute to play in the period. Huskies across the line, but not cleanly. Psycho's in after it. He'll push it around or tries to. Pedersen out on the four check now. Loose puck. Russell trying to hold it in. He's got to get back as Carabas now gets the line and dumps it all the way down. 40 seconds remaining here in the period. Jed pushes it up. Mosley got a piece of it. Couldn't corral it. And slid all the way down. This is going to go right on Blake, but go just wide. And Huskies are going to get 29.3 seconds on the clock with an offensive zone faceoff after the icing. Gonna have to watch this replay here, Dirk. This was just something spectacular. Oh, oh my goodness. It, it, it looks better every time you see it. Yeah, that was uh, just amazing. There was no question in my mind that was going in the net. That would have been a 3 1 lead for Minnesota State and a penalty coming up against the Mavericks off the faceoff interference. And the Huskies are going to, going to get a late second period power play, their first of the game. Not sure where the call was, but here's the call. Minnesota State penalty number 13, minor penalty interference. Well, interference the call against Jordan Power, junior defenseman from Ottawa. A little pick there, I guess. It's Huskies with the power play brought to you by Edward Jones financial advisor Brent Peterson. Shots are even up 23-23. First power play of the game for the uh, Huskies. Mavericks have had two. 20 seconds left to go in the period, and good clear all the way down by Minnesota State. That's a big battle right there that they won. Yeah, for sure. They, Michigan Tech could not find the puck. Minnesota State found it, cleared it all the way down. Bringing it up now. Campbell, seven seconds remaining. Campbell slides over, works, trying to bring it in quickly. Three seconds left. Good poke check there by Psychos, and that will do it for the period. A roller coaster of emotions period here for these two teams. Huskies tied it up on a goal that ended up being reviewed but was able to stand and then the Mavericks come down after pressure by Michigan Tech. They come down on a rush and were able to get one another one by Blake Piedela. Yeah, that's for sure, Dirk. These teams couldn't be really any more even. You know, the records are almost the same. The shots are the same. Everything is uh, pretty even with these two teams. Jack Works joins us down in the tunnel after period number two. Jack, uh, uh, was, we were just saying a bit of a roller coaster uh, second period, what were your thoughts on the second 20 minutes of play? Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah, we obviously got that one early in the period, and it was kind of back and forth, and we gave that one on the rush, but uh, I just got to come back out hard in the third and, yeah, just forecheck him. Spectacular save there at the end of that period by Blake Pietela to keep this a one-goal game. What are you guys thinking for this third period as far as um, coming out with the win? Yeah, yeah, like you said, great save by Blake. He's playing great. You know, we expect him to. Always does, and uh, yeah, I think our chances are good here. We just got to play our game and uh, put a couple more in the net here. Uh, Jack, really quick before we let you go, uh, what were your thoughts after that was uh, being reviewed or during the time it was being reviewed? Yeah, I, I knew right away it was probably going to review, so I was just hoping, <laughs> hoping it counted, that's all. All right, good luck in the third period. Thanks. Jack works for Michigan Tech. He got the uh, only Huskies goal 
The Mavericks came back and took the lead again. A 2-1. to one. Minnesota State with the lead after two periods of play. You're tuned to Flow Hockey and Mix 93 WKMJ.
Mix 93, third period. One of these teams is done for the season after this game. Right now, Minnesota State with the advantage, two to one, but the Huskies have a five on four advantage. A power play brought to you by Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Brent Peterson. Third period being brought to you by Turbo Agency. And a huge face-off win by Minnesota State. Psychos will send it down, and the Huskies will have to start 200 feet away. Got up now. Chase Piedela. Piedela at center ice. Huskies are onside. Chase weaves his way in and loses it. Got a shot off. Came off the backboards. Hit the back of the net. Toska Turkey went. Ooh! He takes a hit there and could not get it deep. Lucas Sauter. That body checked down on the half wall. 1932 left in regulation. Mavericks with a one goal lead. The Huskies on a power play. And Sauter is just eating the puck along the kicker play. Great job by him. But now it's pulled out of there by Chase. Chase over for Mosley. Mosley scored a game winner right in that spot last Saturday night. He's got it again. Mosley sent it to the middle. Here's a shot taken by the Huskies. Wide of the net. Mosley will pick it up. 45 seconds left to go in the power play. Their first of the game for the Huskies. Mosley with it. Feeling some pressure. They put Sam Morton right on Mosley. He feels the pressure. Loses the control of the puck. Huskies try to corral it. They'll send it around. Casca Perti with a rolling puck now. We'll have to send it right back in. Kataroff takes it. He'll send it back again. Stepping up now is Koska Perti. Behind the net. In front. Pass over. Just out of reach of Mosley. He would have had a half empty net. 20 seconds left to go on the power play. Kataroff can't get to it. Koska Perti with it. Back low for Kataroff. Oh, he takes a hit. And now picked up by Mosley. Mosley with 12 seconds left on the power play. Playing catch there with Cash Rasmussen. They send it over. Koska Perti corrals it. In front. Tip shot. What a nice shot there by Cash Rasmussen. He just found some soft ice, got a nice pass. Got all of the shot, but it got tipped and deflected past Tracy. Psycho's stick got in the way, and I don't know if Tracy would have, probably uh, he would have stopped that, I think. Tough break there for Alex Tracy. Big goal for the Huskies on the power play, just as it was about to expire. 
And we talked about how big that power play was, Dirk, to get that tying goal. Here we are. Tied 2-2, brand new hockey game here at the MAC. Up to center now for Michigan Tech. Russell hands it off to Gordon, back to Russell, turned over by the Huskies, and Gordon's got to get on his horse there, hustling down now. Moravec's going to get down there, they're going to wave it off. Gordon got there in time. Parabas now in on the four check. Mavericks trying to push back now after the tying goal. Bouncing puck sent wide of the net on the shot there from the Minnesota State Mavericks. Murr will hold it in on the far side. And it just keeps going from side to side. Gordon's going to try to find a way to get it out. He does, gets it up to Logan. Logan will push it up. That one is intercepted by Steinmetz. And now picking it up is Gordon. Gordon over for Works. Almost hauled it in. And the Huskies get it back down inside. Here's a chance for Works. Works with a shot. And he just could not get it off in time. And I think that was Cook that made the defensive play. Yeah, Works was bringing that puck right to the slot, trying to get that shot off. And just a great defensive play by Minnesota State to not allow him to shoot that puck. Right up by Chase now. Backhanded all the way down inside of the Maverick zone. Sent around. Nice job there by Luke Wilson. He's played well here tonight again. And the Mavericks will get a clear up the center ice. Picked up now by, almost picked up by Isley. Chase able to make the play down in the right wing corner by the Zamboni doors. 2-2 score. We're almost three minutes into the period. Mavericks. Losing it inside the Michigan Tech zone. Huskies nearly turned it over. Now they work it up the center. Bardo didn't get it deep. He second opportunity poked away from him. Power now up the center ice. Mavericks across the line. Can't get it inside deep. Now they push it down and Chase goes back with it. Both teams trying to make smart plays right now. Both teams are taking some chances unnecessarily in that first couple of periods. But here comes Logan Piedel across the line. He'll shoot. That one deflected wide of the net. All tied up 2-2. Mavericks pushing it up. Nice shot by Mosley. He holds it in. Here's the shot. No, it was Logan Pietolo. It looked like he was trying to actually dish it off and he got it into a skate. And back the other way, now comes Haskins. He'll get it deep inside the Michigan Tech zone. Russell trying to get away from a check. Russell putting it back. Good play there by Trevor. And now Michigan Tech will pick it up behind their net. Campbell with a lead pass up for Gordon. He hauls it in. Huskies are on side. Gordon coming across now. Centers it up there and covered well on the play was Mosley by the defense of Jordan Power. Worked up the Hillman. He's got a goal here tonight. Tied 2-2 here in the third period. Four minutes gone. Third period being brought to you by the Turbo Agency. Flipped high into the air by Michigan Tech. That'll be knocked down by Power again. And worked up quickly to center ice. Dumped all the way down inside of the zone. As Michigan Tech's Casper Bajaradio puts it off the boards a little bit too hard. And here's Morton now with it. Sam Morton able to stick handle away from traffic. Gets it back to Cook. Cook for the shot. That one ricocheted, but stayed inside of the zone. Morton with it now. Huskies trying to keep big number six in check. Player of the year in the CCHA. Morton carries it all the way back to the blue line. Makes a nice play over to Murr. Murr with the pass to the front. Huskies break it up. Get cleared away. Blake never saw it. And then it got steered aside. The Huskies will try to clear it out, and they do. Just barely getting it outside of the zone as Murr tried to hold it in. Couple of players tied up there at center ice. Works. And that hit hooked on the way in. No icing call. Picked up now by Murr. Murr being chased. Huskies kick it. Can't keep it inside of the zone. Steinmetz, nice pass across for Carabas. He'll shoot it, block it away there. And Michigan Tech's going to pick up the loose puck now. Brought up by Pedersen. Pedersen makes a move at center ice. Pedersen across the line now. Gets it down deep. Pedersen to the front. Maybe looking for a ricochet off of the goaltender. Turned over though and brought back up by Moravec. Moravec will backhand it down. Will this get down for an icing? It will. Oh, that's a break for the Huskies and a faceoff coming back inside of the Minnesota State zone. What a flurry of activity in there, Dirk. And I'll tell you what, Sam Morton, they're going to have to make sure they line match on him because he drew about three Michigan Tech players towards him, dished the puck off to just create an excellent scoring opportunity for Minnesota State. Face off down in front of Alex Tracy. Huskies win the draw. Mosley with a shot and a save by Tracy. Kicked that one out of there with confidence. Moravik now will bring it across the Michigan Tech line. Shot in, that one wide of the net. And Blake moving side to side there. Dumped right back in again by Minnesota State. The Huskies fail out of clear. Russell tying up his man in on the floor check is Bolson, I believe that is. Isley is out there along with Luke Wilson. Huskies get it. Gordon had trouble with that one. It came midair, but Michigan Tech will help it out to center ice. Luke Wilson not able to hold it in. Isley able to scoop it up though. He'll start it back. Isley, a crafty player. He'll bring it in. Kodrak scores! Oh, what a shot by Isley! Off 
the crossbar and in after the toe drag. And Minnesota State, for the third time tonight, has a one-goal lead. Yeah, just a spectacular individual effort there by Adam Isley to just pull that puck in, shoot through the defender, just clinked it off that crossbar there. 14.03 left to go in the period. Isley with just a sensational shot. And there's not a goaltender around that's usually going to make that save. Base off at center ice. The Huskies for the third time here tonight find themselves down a goal. After uh, tying it up now here in the third, Koska Pirti now will go back with it. Right off by Castor Baharadio for Koska Pirti. Cross the line for Michigan Tech. Koska Pirti with a shot. Shoulder save made there, and Casper can't hold it in. Sends it over for Tyrone Bronte. Bronte sauces it back for Koska Pirti. Huskies with good puck movement here, even though they're not able to come across cleanly. The laid offside, and they take up. 13-36 remaining. Souter tips it all the way down. Michigan Tech back in after it. Bronte picks it up off the wall. Moves it forward for Nordstrom, and that's too many men on the ice? Is that what they whistled down? No, I oh, think oh, Nordy, somebody in the bench. Yeah, I think Nordy was the fifth guy jumping on there, but gotcha. it went off, his, went off his glove onto the bench. Gotcha. Face off will be in the neutral zone. 13-26 left to go in the third. Third period being brought to you by the Turbo Agency. Dirk Hembroff and Phil Pietola here on Mix 93. The fans thoroughly entertained here tonight. Here at the back, Husky fans hoping for a comeback again. Shot all the way down inside of the Michigan Tech zone. Huskies with a good breakout. Up to center ice there for Bartle. Bartle across the line. Sends it to the, towards the goal. Tried to just sauce it in there on an alley-oop play, but nobody able to get a stick on it. Well defended by Murr. Murr now will send it around. Held in by Williams. Williams towards the goal. It bounced right to the net. It hit somebody on the way in and bounced right towards the net. It was originally going wild, wide, and it funneled in. Icing the call against Minnesota State. They've been whistled quite a bit on the uh, icing. And Aesop coming up down inside of the Maverick zone. Here's that play from the point. Yeah, it went off a hill net, it looked like. Took a funny bounce there. And Tracy got his glove on it, but didn't catch it. It bounced right out to Hank Bartle, but he just couldn't, couldn't get enough wood on that puck. 27-26, Michigan Tech with a one-shot advantage. Maverick's doing a good job of stalling here. Can't blame them. They have no timeout remaining. Huskies will win the faceoff. Michigan Tech trying to tie this game up again. Russell with a shot that did not get through and cleared all the way back out to center ice by the Mavericks. They're going to wave off the ice seat as Campbell is back in time. Campbell now pushing it up. This is going to be turned over. Steinmetz, fans on it. Michigan Tech got a break right there, but delayed offside. Picked up by Caravas now out at center ice. Caravas across the line. Good speed. Makes a cold drag play. Hit the side of the net. Short side. Huskies trying to find it. And a battle there by Patterson. He'll move it now for Russell to the wing. Tough play right there for the winger. Not much Cash Rasmus Rasmussen could do there. Morovic will hold it in. 3-2. Minnesota State with a one-goal lead. 12 minutes left to go here in regulation. Mavericks win. They move on. Huskies win, they move on. The other team goes home for good. Up to center ice, this is going to be clear. Watch out, out of play, a souvenir puck brought to you by the Reliance Insurance Agency of Lance. Well, you're going to see Michigan Tech starting to shorten the bench here, Dirk. I think 12 minutes left in this game, down by a goal. Expect a lot of ice time for the top guys. Yeah, we'll probably see a lot of uh, Chase Pietola, Nick Williams. Campbell and Russell. Jed has played well here tonight, too. And Baja Rada, they all played good. Everybody's played well here tonight for these two teams. Morton now will skate it up. Morton would love nothing more than to get a two-goal lead in this building for the Mavericks. But the Huskies started back there. Mosley trying to get through the lead. He couldn't do it. Huskies now will move it to the middle, and that's a blind pass intercepted by Souter. Oh, big hit there as Jed Pietola stepped up, but he went down on the play, but still stopped Souter in his tracks. And the Huskies now, Logan Pietola trying to make a play. Turned over, and the Huskies will get it back. Mosley cycling back inside of his own zone, needs a little bit of help. Huskies go back with it again. Boy, they're out of position. Here's a chance for the Mavericks coming in. Carabas, I believe this is, down in the corner, back and wrap around, goes to the backside, and the Huskies will flip it up to center ice just to get it outside of the zone. Shot right back in. Mavericks coming in again. Blake trying to get back in the net. Here's a chance for the wraparound again. That one denied once again. The Huskies are just 
all they're able to do right now, Phil, is get the puck out of the zone. Yeah, they're just holding on right now, Dirk. Uh, all the push right now is Minnesota State. 27-27 the shot. Blake's going to play this one. Got it to Campbell, or Williams, sorry. Williams over for Chase. Chase pushing it up now. Bronte poked away from him. Chase with it again, being tracked down by Haskins up to center ice. And Michigan Tech now from inside of their own zone will bring it up to center. Williams over for Bronte. Bronte will cut across the middle now. Huskies need a goal to tie this one up. Kicked in front, boy. And I'm not sure if Works took that right in the skate, and that's why he's slow to get up. Oh, Jack Works really in pain right now. Offside called, and, and Jack Works limping to the uh, player's bench right now for Michigan Tech, and that would be a huge loss for the Huskies. Yeah, it looked pretty innocent. It looked like maybe the puck just hit him in the wrong part of the leg or something like that. And maybe he just didn't have any power with his leg to skate off the ice. Yeah, right in the back of the foot, eh? Hey? And the Huskies do not want to have to lose Jack Works. Good forecheck here by the Mavericks. They're up by a goal right to the foot of the net. And that one just went through the top of the crease and wide. Russell with it now. Explodes off his stick, and Michigan Tech trying to keep the uh, Mavericks in check now as Souter is out there. Here's Sam Morton. Morton behind the Michigan Tech goal. Michigan Tech just kind of keeping him on the perimeter as best they can. Now it's Kataroff. Kataroff wins a battle down there, trying to push it outside. Good hesitation there by Arvid to move it. And Michigan Tech, who's down by one. Three to two with 9.36 remaining. will dump it all the way down. Michigan Tech not able to hold the zone. Brought up by Carabas, two on one. More of it breaking to the net. Pass to the front, well played by Williams. He kicked that one away. And boy, have the skates been important here tonight for both of these teams, especially the Huskies. Chase Piedela gets away from the forward check. He'll start it up now. Three, two, Mavericks with the lead. Chase Fend on it, came outside of the zone. More of it, not able to make the play. The Huskies defended it well. Nine minutes left to go in the third. Again, not a good pass. And it's going to be ruled an icing against Michigan Tech with nine minutes left. 3-2, Minnesota State with the lead. Yeah, Nick Williams is looking for Isaac Gordon there to just tip that puck to avoid the icing call, but I think Isaac Gordon heard some footsteps there. 27-26, Michigan Tech with a one-shot advantage. Can't get much more of a tighter, can't get much tighter of a game here tonight. Jack works in on the bench right now for Michigan Tech. Boy, that kid is hurting. You know he's really hurt. Here's Souter now on a design playoff of the faceoff. He'll take it wide over to the far side for Minnesota State. Nothing for him in front. Mavericks with a one goal lead. Huskies trying to tie it up and play though inside the Michigan Tech zone. Loose puck. Kanarov ties up his man. Williams does the same. Sam Morton's lined back out there again for Coach Luke Strand. Morton fills it up. Fishes it out of there and intercepted by Mosley, but he loses the handle on it. Shot right back in by the Mavericks. A great job by the Mavericks, just keeping that puck pinned in the Michigan Tech zone so, this period so far. 8.23 left in regulation. 3-2, Mavericks with the lead. Huskies back in behind the net now of their own zone. Mavericks not pressing. Pass up to Mosley, and Huskies did not look like they knew what they wanted to do on that play. Mosley with it now. Protects the puck and sends it all the way in. Tracy will stay in his net. Wrapped around, Logan Peel and not able to hold it in. He wanted too many men on the ice, but not gonna get it. Wilson now with a steal, up for Bolson. Bolson not able to find the puck, and now he will. Back inside the Minnesota State zone. Huskies down by a goal. The center ice cleared all the way down, right on Blake. Blake's gonna leave it there now for his cousin Jed. Jed hands it off for Russell, and Russell get it up to the wing. Back to Russell from Bronte. Now over for Jed. Jed cuts across the middle, sends it over for Russell. He'll get it across the line, loses it, reaches back, and will send it back inside of the zone. Psychos fires it around. Huskies out of position, making a line change. Baja Radio's got to get back, and a good back check there by Tyrone Bronte on the play. Hand it off for Baja Radio. Baja Radio trying to push it up. Tosca Pirti with it. Caught in his skates. Huskies have to go back with it now. Baja Radio behind the net. He'll get it to the wing. A little bit of time and space for the Huskies as they push it up. Dauber out there. We have not seen Jack Works back onto the ice. I do not believe. Michigan Tech down by a goal. Seven minutes left to go in regulation. Sox pass up. And here comes Chase Piedela across the line. Chase 
delays, shoots, saved by Tracy. Puck goes high into the air. Going hard as Pedersen. Cycles it down now for Rasmussen. Mullaney, down in the left wing corner, battling defensively for the Mavericks. Huskies get it on the wing. Pedersen had it, he didn't realize it. It's sent around, Huskies trying to hold it in at the line, and they do for a second, second, third opportunity, still inside the zone. Huskies kept it in, Pedersen now trying to find it. Both teams are tired out there right now, and the Mavericks are able to send it off the board, back out the center line. Six minutes and 17 seconds remaining here in the third. Mavericks with a one goal lead here in the semifinal. One and done for these two teams. Worked up by Minnesota State, they're already playing a little safer right now, Phil. Yeah, they're just chipping that puck down to the Michigan Tech zone, just trying to kill some time on this clock. Jed Tietola trying to push it up. Oh, he got a break right there. Jed will bring it across the line. Leaves it for Gordon. Gordon sends it over! A shot saved by Tracy Rebound is right there! Another shot for the Huskies, just went wide of the net. Shot by Gordon did not get through, and the Mavericks will bring it up now with Grohl. Morton catching up to the play. Grohl will just send it in to save ice down in the corner. Huskies with another flurry and could not bury it to tie it up. Five and a half left. Here comes Logan. Logan across the line. Hangs on to it. Makes a move. Trying to get around. Cycle. Got it to the side of the goal. And cleared back out by Minnesota State. This might go right on net and won't be an icing call. Chase getting it from his brother. Chase taken down. Oh, Chase a penalty. And the Mavericks will be whistled on a hooking call or a hold with 5-12 left to go in the third period. We'll take a break. Be back right after this. Back to action here at the MAC. Another tight game between these two teams that have all been close this season. Huskies on a power play brought to you by Edward Jones financial advisor Brent Peterson. Luke Wilson off for the hooking call and cleared all the way down by the Mavericks. Huskies back in after it now. This is Chase Pietala. 3 2 lead for Minnesota State. Huskies drop it back for Mosley. Mosley will bring it up. Ryland Mosley over. Kataroff had to reach out for that one. Back to the point. Chase will hold it in. Huskies trying to set it up now. Steinman's putting on pressure. Here's Mosley with a shot. Right through. It's right at the board. The bouncing puck. And how did... Oh, they're going to call this outside, say the Huskies. Oh, a penalty shot. Penalty shot coming up for Michigan Tech. Saying that one of the Mavericks, I guess, covered it up in the crease. Let's see. The overhead here as we're watching. Great save by Tracy. The puck was loose. That's exactly what happened. The referees are talking it over right now. Michigan Tech's going to get a penalty shot 
for a chance to tie this game, Phil. Yeah. I, I'm just in disbelief right now, to Dirk, to have the opportunity to tie this, uh, this game up. You losing you there, Phil? Michigan Tech is opting to take the penalty shot. All right, so the Huskies still have a power play. Minute 21 remaining. Are you good, Phil? Do we have your... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I was just getting a little echoing. Oh. Oh, sorry. There we go. Here we go. Chance for Pietala Logan to bring it in, trying to tie this game up. Shoot! Scores! Logan Pietala! Ties the game up on a penalty shot. 3-3. And still a minute 21 left in the Michigan Tech power play. Wow, what a shot there by Logan to just come up big for this Michigan Tech club. Just nice shot, there's some low glove, beat Tracy clean. Now a discussion going on. So I'm not sure what this is about. Let's see here, Sam Morton talking to the officials. Am I missing something here, Phil? I believe we'll still have uh, Michigan Tech would still be on the power play. I believe they will. Be, we would be because it's they scored on the second penalty power play. I guess I'm not. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Not 100% sure on that, how that rule works. This is one of those uh, situations you don't see very often. In the, you got to pull out the old rule book every once in a while. Yeah, to make that uh, penalty shot call, and you know, it appeared to be the right call. The Minnesota State player had his hand cover the puck in the crease, and by definition, that's a penalty shot. Mavericks right away were saying this should be even up. Here's the replay for Willis watching at home. Boy, Logan, I thought Tracy did a nice job of backing up and, and really covering that part of the net pretty well. Logan just made the perfect shot. Huskies will continue with the power play brought to you by Edward Jones financial advisor Brent Peterson. He scored a lot of big goals as a Husky, but this, you know, if they win this game, that could be one of the biggest goals that he'll score as a Husky. No doubt about it. Mavericks have seen the Huskies come back three times in this game. Minnesota State has never trailed in this game. Three, three score. Huskies across the line, nearly turned over, and now it is. Sam Morton swings at it, and here come the Mavericks back the other way. But no, the Huskies quickly take it away. Still a minute left to go in the power play for Michigan Tech. Trying to get their first lead of the game. Here's Mosley. Ryland back to the point for Chase. Chase swings it to the middle or drives it to the middle. Hangs on to it. Now over to the left side for Kanaska Turkey. Down low. And boy, that was well played there by the defense of Moravec. Back to the point for the Huskies. Chase Pietala turns it over. Souter with a great play, and he'll clear it all the way down. Yeah, great ind individual effort there by Souter to just get that puck on the stick and get it all the way down. Michigan Tech, Minnesota State, tied 3-3. Shots are 33-30. Epic game here at the John McGinnis Student Ice Arena. Here's a chance now for Works. Back in play. Here's a Gordon play off the uh, defender and wide of the net. Huskies able to hold it in. 11 seconds left to go on the power play. Shot taken wide of the goal again. Russell trying to hold it in, can't do it. Great individual effort there by Kranek. We haven't called his name a whole lot here tonight. No, we haven't, but he beats Russell in a foot race there, a very important one at that. Isaac Gordon back across the line, trying to sauce it over. This one flipped back up the center ice. Huskies have guys back. And now turning quickly with it is Kataroth. Brings it to the middle. Kataroth has a guy right on him. Does he know? Here's the shot taken, and that one sailed high. If the back netting wasn't there, that was going up into suite number one here at the John McGinnis Student Ice Arena. That's a souvenir punk brought to you by the Reliance Insurance Agency. I would say that's the wrong shot selection there by Kataroth. He should have just taken a quick wrist shot or snap shot. He tried for the full slap shot and just took too long to get that shot off. We are tied 3-3. It is like overtime right now, uh, ladies and gentlemen. 2.57 left to go here in the third period. Brought to you by Turbo Agency. The Huskies trying to get their first lead of the game. Mavericks trying to get their fourth lead of the game. Pietala, Chase. Over for his partner, Nick Williams. Back for Chase Pietala. He'll bring it up. Get at center ice, gets the red line, shoots it in. Huskies will go in on the four check. Cook is going to get there first for the Mavericks. Trying to push it up the boards. We'll go back with it now for Murr. 
You're going to see the team's best defenseman out there here as much as possible. Cross the line. Good job there by the Mavericks to stay on side. But the Huskies started back now. Mosley's on side. He tried to get it over quickly to Pedersen. He knew he had him with him. But Murr in a good play coming back. And quickly up now for the uh, Mavericks. 3-3 three, three score. Here comes Souter. Souter across the line. And that line will change. Michigan Tech will go back in after it. Russell has time. He'll bring it up from behind his own net. Russell gaining some speed. Hands it off to Logan. Logan maneuvers. And gets some time and space down the right wing. Logan Pietolo, he'll shoot! And he got it on net that went off of the defenseman power and they saved there by Tracy. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of the Logan Pietola, Mosley, and Gordon line here at this stage of the game, Dirk. And I like the thought, you know, every shot at this point, any shot can go in, shoot the puck on the net. Face off down in front of Tracy. Michigan Tech has tied it up on a penalty shot goal by Logan Pietola. He has risen to so many occasions in his career. And a draw win there by Minnesota State up to center ice. Husky stop it and send it back in. Bellini to his defensive partner, Power. Power moves it up, tipped all the way down by Moravik. Williams gets there first, peels away, pushes it up. Bronte never got a hold of that puck. A nice job of the Mavericks to keep it in deep. Isley down there along with Moravik. Coming in to help out as well. From Minnesota State, back to the point. Shake, saved there by Blake. Bouncing puck, still in the high slot. Huskies trying to keep that puck moving. So the Mavericks couldn't corral it. Nice play here by Isley. Isley gets it back to Moravik. Or Wheeler, Wheeler slides it over. Shot taken intentionally right off the back wall. The Huskies played it well. Chad Pielo knocking it down. He got a guy right on, goes hard off the boards, gets the clear. Minnesota State with control. A minute 13 left to go. Pretty safe to say next goal wins and moves on in this game. 3-3 three, three score, 105 remaining. Here come the Mavericks, poked away by the Huskies. Jack Works. Last minute of play here in the third. Wilson going in on the four check now for the Mavericks. Sent all the way around, Kaskapurti can't get there in time. Huskies with it now, Chase, safe play off the boards. Gets it up the center ice, Huskies across the line now. Here comes Cash, pass over, Pedersen! And a shot and it hit the defenseman. Great play coming back, I'm not sure if that was Carabas. And the Mavericks now working up the center ice. Wilson got a piece of that one. Huskies started back with a half a minute to play here in the third, tied 3-3. Cook sends it around inside of his own zone. Wide open on the far side was Grohl. Taken away by the Huskies. Moved forward now by Cash. Cash across the line, trying to make the play. Moves to the middle, shoots, rebound! Was right there, Tracy made the save and he holds on. What a stop there by Tracy. A great play by Cash Rasmussen on an individual effort going one on four. Wow, that puck was just bouncing around and Tracy was able to find it and cover that puck, but great individual effort there on that shift by Cash Rasmussen. Face off inside of the Mavericks zone, five on five, 16.1 remaining in regulation. We are tied 3-3. Logan Pietala to take the draw for the Huskies against Morton. Morton will win it to Bellini. Off of the boards, but held in by the Huskies. A shot towards the goal and bounces right back. They score! Oh my goodness! The Huskies score and went off the back. You believe that, Dirk? Somehow that puck bounced off the back glass, came up over the netting, and I didn't see it. Who that hit? It oh. Went off of the Mavericks. They're gonna look at this. The Huskies have scored with 9.1 remaining. How about this officiating crew tonight, boy? They have been worked hard. Yeah, they have earned their money tonight here, Derek, I'll tell you that. What a strange goal. See the replay off Tracy. It came right back out front. And the Huskies on their 37th shot on goal taking the lead. And I believe that was the glove of Jordan Power who first touched that puck and then he pushed it off the head of Alex Tracy and then into the net. They're calling for a goaltender, Tracy, to come out of the net. Nine seconds, the Mavericks are gonna do everything they can to push this forward. 
Here we go. They work it back. Souter goes back in at seven seconds left. Here comes Souter now across the line. He fumbles it. Three seconds left. The Huskies are going to hold on and win the most incredible game here tonight at the John McGinnis Student Ice Arena. If you weren't here to see it, you wouldn't believe it. A penalty shot goal to tie it up by Logan Pietla. And then he gets the game winner here tonight, 4-3. Yeah, and give credit to Minnesota State. I mean, they are just devastated right now, and rightfully so. I mean, the bounces just didn't go their way, but they played a heck of a game here against Michigan Tech here tonight. Mavericks. But just a whale of a game here tonight against Michigan Tech. Here's the game winner again. Of Tracy's mask and in after went off his defenseman. And all of these early season games for Michigan Tech were nothing was going their way. Third period, things went their way. Yeah, that's for sure, Dirk. The, the hockey gods were on their side here tonight because they had a, several bounces here tonight that uh, really made the difference in this game. And, We'll be watching the Lake State, Bemidji State game very closely now tonight because if Lake State pulls an upset, we're back here next weekend. No doubt about it. We'll take a break. The Huskies in the most dramatic fashion here tonight beat Minnesota State, two teams that did not deserve to lose a game here tonight. Well, that's for sure. They both left it on the ice. I'll tell you what, this was just... A game that I'll remember for a long time. There, you know, you just you couldn't you couldn't script it any better for Michigan Tech, and you couldn't script it any worse for Minnesota State. But certainly a game to remember. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with our post game here on Mitch 93. Four three final. Michigan Tech is moving on to the championship game after a doozy here at the back. Back after this.
Bible went back off the end wall on the most bizarre ricochets, came back out front, went off of a Maverick player, then off the goaltender's mask and in the net for the game winner. And the Huskies win it here tonight, 4-3. to three. Logan Pietola is with us here on Mix 93. Logan, uh, nice goal. That was a beauty. <laughs> no, congratulations on the uh, couple of goals here tonight. Uh, first of all, take us through what you're thinking right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's a whirlwind. That was a lot of highs there in the last couple minutes. Good job by the guys coming back from being down again, and just really proud of the guys. Congratulations. Uh, uh, on, the, on the penalty shot, did you know where you are going on it, or were you going to kind of make up your mind as you went in? Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of tried maybe... Sell a shot that maybe I was going to go for him back in. I just saw a little, little opening there. That's my bread and butter, so I went there. And then how about the last play? Did take us through what, what happened there? Yeah, I knew there wasn't too much time left. Uh, I just tried to follow on net with a couple guys going to the net, and I actually don't know what happened there. A couple, Maybe their guy hit it in or something, but yeah, we'll take it. That was quite the celebration by the team uh, going to your brother after the game. I mean, just an epic game here tonight. Yeah, I mean, we're super happy. I mean, a lot of hard work this year for these guys. Ups and downs, but we got one more, so we're fired up. Congratulations. Thanks, Derek. All right, head coach Joe Sean is going to join us. Here on Mix 93, that was uh, Logan Piedla right here. Coach, we had to come down and see you in person. I don't want to see you with that uh, on uh, on the camera anymore. Congratulations. What a game here tonight. Your thoughts? I don't blame you. I got a great face for radio. <laughs> uh, it was great, great hockey game. I think, uh, we fed certainly off the crowd. Um, I thought uh, special teams were, were, it, it were greatly important for us. Um, the resiliency of the group was incredible. You know, that uh, right down to the very last play. I thought the officials made some really hard calls very, you know very you know very very difficult calls and and uh you know i think i, I think our our head of officials marco hunt's done a really good job it's, it's he's new this year and and uh, he's given these guys the ability to uh have confidence that he has their back and i think he's taught them well so the, it was a, it was a hard game for them mm -hmm. it seems like every time we play mankato in a big big game it's you know there's something you know i mean last year it didn't go our way and and uh, this year it did go our way um uh, take us through the process of, of picking Logan to take the shot. Was it an easy one on the uh, penalty shot? Yeah, it was easy. Okay. Congratulations, Coach. Great, thanks. All right, go celebrate. Head Coach Joe Sean, brought to you by Final Light Tire and Adcock. Final Light Tire Express and Houghton will re-serve you the guests. We'll be back with more on Mix 93. 4-3 Huskies moving on here in the uh, Mason Cup Tournament. Save up to 200.